Ladies and gentlemen, children of the corn, welcome back to the Mindless Horror Podcast presents Scare Actor Appreciation Month. Today we got a, a pleasure of having the wonderful Scare Actor of the Year of Ghost Town, AJ. Hi. AKA Judas. <laughs> and new to the uh, podcast today, we got AKA one of the saloon girls, Jen, AKA Jennifer. Tootsie. AKA Tootsie. <laughs> Okay, damn, okay. That, was, that was a hell of an intro. Yeah. <laughs> hell of an intro. Good job, Sammy. Getting better and better every time. I'm starting to let him start these now because I, I feel like I'm a little whore when I come to this kind of stuff. <laughs> I thought you were like just kind of doing it. I was like, all right, you can do this one. No, I just I, I feel like a whore when, when you know, and you know, I'm trying to let Sammy talk. And if you watch a lot of these shows, I feel like a, a whore who's just like, huh? I want to be. I'm answering. I'm asking questions. <laughs> hey, scare actors. <laughs> all right, so. uh AJ, we've already heard your introduction um, on our episode. Yeah, so AJ, so get out of here. Okay, bye. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? What the fuck? No, AJ, we got. We'll, we'll, we'll include you just as much because now there, a lot of stuff has happened since we've seen you last. Yeah. You'll be one monster of the year. But please. But, but this is about Jennifer right now. Why don't you introduce yourself and your character? Let's do this. Uh, okay, so I'm Jennifer. I played one of the saloon girls on Ghost Town this year. Um, my character's name is. Tootsie, but more often, uh, I was I just went by Toots. So if you ever heard, oh yeah, Toots. Yeah, if you ever heard that, that was because of me. I think I heard um, Seth say that a couple times. Yeah, all all the damn time. It was always Seth yelling that, or Allie, the other girl I ran with, because I was always getting lost. So yeah. she would run around screaming Toots. Like, <laughs> <laughs> well, let's talk about this. Seth yelled at everybody. So, I don't know if that counts. Yeah. Yeah. Not much of a gentleman, really. But. <laughs> I loved when, he, when when Lucille told me about that. I was, oh, yeah. I was like, this entire time, I thought you guys were just making fun of him. And no, it was a thing. No, it was a definite thing. It'd be like, like from oh. across the way. We'd have to yell, Derp! <laughs> a minute later, he'd look and go, Derp! <laughs> and then we'd go out. Uh, so, so, Jen, we've seen you a lot this season. You were always hanging out in Kmart. Mm-hmm. Uh, fortunate enough to uh, give us a lovely performance every night with all the other scare actors so we're glad we we got to watch you uh do your gimmick every night it was awesome we really enjoyed it um you're right oh wow look at this guy wins one monster of the year award he just thinks he's better than everyone huh who invited this guy man awesome who invited him again you spit in my hand Multiple nights. Uh, so many times. I'm not sorry. Because every time you're like, <laughs> you can't say I spit in your hand if you were the one like, here you go. Like, <laughs> you put, you know, well, you were like, come here. I'm like, what? <laughs> <laughs> and you were like, stick out your hands. I'm like, okay. And you're like, bleh. I'm like, oh, thanks. <laughs> It's a present, I guess. My love. That actually kind of led to the whole... Yeah. Yeah, the That's why he was really doing yeah, that. Okay. He was like, oh, she spit in my hand, damn it, it's still there. Thanks, Jen. <laughs> She's still here. <laughs> um, no, I'm sorry. Jen, you probably had a lot of moments this season that just were fun. Share some with us. I've wonder. had moments, but let's talk about the fun ones. Um, the fun ones. <laughs> I mean... I mean Shit, why are you giggling? We're giggling. Like, positive vibes. <laughs> I shouldn't have invited him. I'm laughing too much. Okay, sure. Okay. Okay. Sure, sure, okay. sure, sure. No. So, I mean, God, so many fun moments. I don't know where to start. I mean, like, the most iconic one that everyone's talking about this season is the the killing of the she-wolf which I got to do with this dude. Um, And that was, and you guys got it on camera. I didn't even know that was you guys when it was happening too. I was just like, fuck, we got a crowd. We got an anonymous tip. I won't say from who. An anonymous tip from from Kenzie. I'm not gonna say from who. It uh, It wasn't Kenzie, I can tell you that. There was just uh, some messages that may have been relayed. Really? Yeah, the, the Why are you guys being tip? secretive about yeah, it? What happened? <laughs> I just, you know, if Nats is watching, I don't want him to know. Oh, uh, <laughs> so I'm going to break though. down the door. <laughs> 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 Tell us the <laughs> damn secret. <laughs> Snoopy comes in and just beats the shit out of him. <laughs> <laughs> well, now I'm living in fear. It's like yeah, that yeah, freaking yeah. episode so, of uh, South, South Park where Mickey comes, comes in and starts beating the shit out of the Jonas Brothers. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Snoopy's gonna come in and just start beating the shit out of all of us. <laughs> and Charlie Brown. And, and Charlie, Charlie Brown. Brown. Charlie Brown's gonna be his the backup. The Peanuts gang just comes away oh, no. now. Shit. Oh, no. No. <laughs> no. That was that was fun. I I enjoyed that a lot. That's cool. Yeah, that was literally. I don't think I ever told you this. 
he scared the shit out of me doing it. Wow. Okay. Oh, really? You were so into it, and your speech that you were giving, I was holding her arm, but I was like, what the fuck is he saying? You're like, I, I was just told to come over here. I didn't know this. Yeah, pretty much. I literally, I was told to just come over and, like, drag her over, because she was just like, yeah, I'm going to get murdered. And I was like... Because there was a lot going into that, because there was... Because Sam had... The hanging. Yeah. And Jackie did too. Jackie had the hanging too. So we wanted to do it at 11 mm -hmm. and then turn it into 11.15. I was back from break at 11 and I was actually, I was freezing my, my ass off backstage mm -hmm. and I look at my, my, my phone and it's like 11, like 02. I'm like, crap, I'm late. And so I'm getting ready and I'm just roaming around and then I'm just, I just remember like, oh shit, I got something to do. Like I gotta, <laughs> I gotta, I gotta be somewhere. <laughs> and so I went to Kmart and I saw everyone and then. It's that awkward, like, who's going to go? Who's going to yeah. go? Who's, who's, who's yeah. doing it? And then you guys just took hold and then grabbed her. I'm like, okay, fuck, we're going. All right. And then we go. Yeah. Just going to follow them. We saw him kind of circling, and we were like, I think it was me and Ali. And I was just like, yelled yeah. action, and everybody was just like, yeah. well, Action! <laughs> I mean, we, were, we, were, uh, we were on the porch over in Birdcage. He actually, he was, he was the, the one. He was like, oh, dude, it's happening. And I pulled out my camera. I was like, oh, shit, here we go. Yeah, it happened a stretch all the way from Kmart Alley all the way to the front of Birdcage because we saw you running around and we were like, fuck, okay, I guess we got to go now. Um, and so Ali and I looked at each other and we were like, are we going to? Okay, and just like <laughs> grabbed on to Jackie and just start going. And no one knew what was going on. We passed our supervisor and she was like, yeah. Like she looked, she looked like she was about to like call us out, and then she just kind of. Yeah, and she took it. She gave it a minute. She's like, "Oh, they're doing a thing." Yeah, she's like, oh, <laughs> "Okay." And so we just went, and but the whole, and I never told you this, the atonement speech, just oh, that yeah. was the best thing I've. That was ever a little premeditated. Heard. <laughs> premeditated. No, it was good. Yeah. No, I like it. Was it. Cool. it was so cool. Like I just didn't think about. Well, like I knew. Atonement, what that means, what well, she that, did. That's why you want to yeah. be here. Oh, well, no, I'm not, gonna, I'm not sure about that. <laughs> um, but I just thought it'd be a cool name for my knife, and what it does, it kills things. Yeah. It's atonement, and so obviously the she-wolf was responsible for the death of the orphan. Which I just so, so wish I would have gotten that on camera, too. That, that happened cool. so fast, and I was just like, what is going on? on? Yeah. I, I hear her screaming, and then all of a sudden I see Jack. Jack. Oh, shit. I didn't have my camera. Nice. The one thing I could have gotten to put him together, and I didn't have. It's a series. Well, I don't know. I mean, like, Next after year. that, yeah. Because uh, our supervisor is really, really supportive of the things that we do. Yeah. She really likes character interactions. Mm -hmm. More so on slow days so that we do have time to, like, to do things like that. Um, but she she appreciates anything involving two different characters creating a story. Mm -hmm. um, and that the She-Wolf aspect of it was there was an actual story behind it there was a reason for everything and they wanted me to be to be a part of it and i was like that's really fucking cool thank you mm -hmm. um and i did and yeah i mean because i don't know about most of the people in ghost town their characters sometimes it takes a minute for people to figure themselves out yeah. um yeah. but like as far as like there's lucio the asylum mm -hmm. there's merrick who listens to his thunder drug um, there's freaking, there's the mummy bounty hunter, there's so many different, there's a the farmer, there's different people that have their characters put together, um, and it's just, it's really neat to be able to actually have someone that says, I want to see it, like, figure out how you can do this out there so that you can tell a story with your body movements, with interactions with other characters, uh, uh, Garrett Faulkner, um, Totem. Totem, yeah, Totem. Mm -hmm. um, he's the blacksmith. He's technically it's canon that he is also Judas's older brother. I, I haven't been able, shit. yeah, like I haven't, like I haven't been able to. <laughs> to so much, he he rewatched his podcast. podcast. He's like, what, what didn't I say last time, time that I could bring him? Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I was taking. I definitely take notes. <laughs> yeah. That's cool. Though. I had my uh, my monster of the year award right next to me too as I was doing so. Um, <laughs> Just any way you can bring it in. Did you guys know that he got monster? Did he win monster here? Did you know that he got monster? I have. I do it. I heard rumors. It was in the rumor mill, but I don't know. I know who won rookie of the year, but I didn't. A little bit. Hey, it's been 12 years. Nine years on the streets. Let me gloat. Every single second of you being out there. It was. It was definitely. You earned it. I thought I wasn't gonna. I had so like I had one other person in my mind that I knew. Okay. Okay. Because Totem was actually talking to me about 45 minutes before they announced the winners. And he said, why do we do this? I'm like, for the clout. <laughs> <laughs> yes. He's like, no, why do we do this? I'm like, because it's fun, it's 
fun scaring people, blah, blah, blah. So he humbled me, and I was like, you know what? Whoever wins, it's cool. And I only had one other person that, like, I didn't want to be narcissistic or, you know, fool myself. I'm like, well, if I don't win it, this person needs to win it. And so I immediately thought, like, that was going to be the person on the screen. Mm -hmm. I was talking to you earlier. When they announced the winner, I just he heard the whole, like, VIP room go up. And then Lucio jumped on my face. Yeah. I just got a, a face full of Lucio. Yeah. And I'm, I'm hearing people screaming, and I'm just like, what's going on? So I try to move Lucio, and it's my name, and it's Judas up there. I'm like, holy shit, no way. Is that me? Yeah. Me. And so, but it was just, yeah, it was nuts, dude. I'm still, I'm still kind of riding that wave. But yeah, I did, I did win. You can ride it all the way till September. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I don't know, maybe. <laughs> I just Next auditions, you better walk, walk through. Like, eh, most of the year coming through. That's all. Cool. Excuse me. Ooh. That. Have like <laughs> pack, like hanging from a neck. It's like, excuse me, yeah. monster of the year. I thought about taking it with me till like yeah, wherever like, I went. Yeah, like a giant, giant clock instead of yeah, just a, like a gold chain rock in the the award. Don't give him ideas. He's thinking about it. He's like, that's a good idea. He's gonna, he's gonna roll up with glasses and everything. He's gonna... No, I don't wanna. I don't wanna be that douchebag. <laughs> I don't wanna be that guy. But it's still pretty cool. But nah, anyway, so Jen. Cool. Hi. Yeah. Hi. Hi. <laughs> uh, was, was this your first year on Ghost Town? This was my first year at Knotts ever. 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 Wow. This Congratulations. Was really Thank you so much. Stop it. That is the. Uh, that is an accomplishment right there. Yeah. How many people, people are fortunate enough to, to, to get that? I know. That's I definitely awesome. counted my blessings every night that I was there. Every night that I was there, I just went out and it was. You know, you mentioned there's always moments of zen on the street, and you yeah. know, you get those moments, and it was just kind of these feelings of just sitting there and being like, "Shit, I'm here." Yeah. Like, you know, it it didn't really didn't really click until actually towards the end of season where yeah. I was like, "I'm on Ghost Town," and you know, like you don't really know what you have until it's like it's it's gone, really. Yeah, like, it really sucked that as soon as I was like, "Yeah, I'm on Ghost Town," like, "Let's get it, let's do it." They were like, "All right, bye guys, you're all fired." And I was like, "All right, so last night." Wait, was like, like, uh, excuse me. Wait, 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 this is a year-round year job. job. I was like, "Wait a second, let me check him out." Yeah. yeah. Um, is, is that, that what you initially auditioned for, for streets, or did you just audition just to try to get in? So I actually kind of had a funky story with my audition process because. I used to work at a haunt previously before this um, in Riverside, and I left that haunt um, for personal reasons, and the reasons were pretty bad. And around the time of auditions, around uh, you know beginning of August, I was like, you know what, man, I was going back and forth between auditioning for knots or just taking a complete season off, mm -hmm. and I was like. You fuck it, I'll sign up for, for knots. You know, mm -hmm. I'll sign up. And I was out on the day of open hire. And mm -hmm. I was like, fuck it, I'm not going to do it. <laughs> and then two days later, I was like, fuck, that was stupid. <laughs> and so, um, I saw that they had posted on the Instagram page, you know, that if you want to come into the employment center, they still needed monsters for mazes. So you could come in, you could literally sit down, and um, they would just kind of, you know, ask you a couple questions and just kind of fill you in a spot. It was not even an audition thing. So I go in and I sit down and I had submitted uh, my talent resume, which had my previous uh, haunt stuff on it and some other stuff, because they needed a resume for it. And so I um, submitted my little talent resume, I went in and I was answering questions. And I was about to be put in <clears throat> Paranormal Incorporated as a shadow creature before she was like re-looking over my stuff. And she was like, you have three years of street experience at another haunt and I was like yeah and I was manager my last year at that previous haunt and she was like okay that's really cool and you're the best person I've talked to all day wow. and I was like thank you very much <laughs> and I was like cool thanks um, can I fill out my paranormal incorporated paperwork you know <laughs> and she was like let me see if we have any spots open for streets oh. and I was like what do you mean so she gets up and she starts asking, you know, her her coworkers. She was like, "Do we have the open streets binder?" And they were like, "No, Brandon and Pasta have it." Well, can you call Brandon and Pasta? Brandon and Pasta at the park right now. And all of a sudden, three people are on the phone trying to call Brandon and Pasta, and they had just left the park. Oof. So they're calling and they're calling and they're calling. They finally get a hold of them. I'm sitting in this stall in an employment center, about to cry because I was like, "Oh my god." Um, <laughs> and they come back to me and they go. Can you come in tomorrow at 10 a.m. for an audition? And I was like, you know what? Yes, I can. <laughs> I was like, 
like, yeah, I can do that. <laughs> and so um, I came in and I got, I actually got taken back. I got to audition in a, in a room in the depths, nice. which is actually really fun. Um, and so I got to audition in there. It was just literally me, the people that had made the phone calls and uh, Pasta and Brandon. And they gave me a couple little run throughs and they immediately said, they were like, okay, can you act out a saloon girl for us? And I was like, Okay. I was like, girl. Sure, yeah, what is that? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, you gotta play a little stupid, like, like, oh, like a little girl, huh? I was like, I'm sorry, what the fuck is that? <laughs> so, but, you know, I just kind of ran with it, and they just looked at me, and they were like, oh, welcome to Ghost Town. And I was like, at that, that point, point, you hear the, the in her head. She's like, I did it! I literally looked at them and I was, I literally said the words, oh shit, thank you. And they started laughing at me and I was like, I just thought I was going to be put in a fill-in maze spot, Amazing, you know, yeah. and here I am first, first well, year on Congratulations to you. Thank that's you. that's a, a huge accompli you. accomplishment yeah, coming into that. that. Very few but... people were able to make it their first years on the streets. Yeah, yeah. yeah. everyone we've, we've talked, talked to, just, just about, about everyone, everyone is Started in mazes, mazes, did mazes for, for a couple years, years, and then went on to the streets. Yeah, yeah. Unless, you, unless you're Seth and you want to brag about, oh, I was here, here, and here, and here, and here. Oh, bunch enough of these streets, all. Seth's got like, that you, acting range, man. I was like, you bastard. <laughs> 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 We're just talking shit about you. You sexy <laughs> bastard. <laughs> We were telling him that I think. <laughs> what? Oh, what did you tell? What did you tell him? You you said something about him. He's like that beautiful. Something, something beautiful fucking bitch that yeah. fucking, he, he said, said something along the line of that. We were talking about he's like, wait, what? He said that? He said some shit. Yeah, he's like, he said that? Aww. Um, <laughs> I could hear that. Could yeah, hear yeah that. there was, uh, uh, we, we had, had so much fun, fun this year just watching you two out, out there. there. Um, so, Jen, character interactions were a uh, big thing we saw a lot this year. Huge. Um, how was it with you as far as going up to different characters and doing any different interactions? It depended on who the actor was, and most of the time, uh, the interaction was based off of what they would say first, you know? Um, the saloon girls are either really loved by, you know, everyone in Calico because, you know, they know what they're paying for, mm -hmm. or um, if you're like Virus, um, we got called uh, Shameless Hussies nice. <laughs> every night. So if you ever heard Shameless Hussy, I was like, hi! So, it would just, I, I would really wait for my, my character interactions to kind of base off um, whatever first interaction I got from them. Because mm -hmm. um, it really depends on the night, too. If someone's in a bad mood, you know, they're not going to respect the saloon girls. You're a dirty lady of the night. Get mm -hmm. the fuck yep. away from me. So it was like, oh, shit. Um, most of the time, it was a whole lot of fun. And it was just an excuse to just be kind of a brat running around all night. Just kind of, you know, just little little movements and everything being a brat my favorite was always messing with the mayor in front of his wife that happened really often oh, but God. we would also um i don't know if you guys ever saw it there was a certain point where like a couple weeks in a row we stopped the last two weekends because it got busier but we would have toad money in our corsets so oh, it was, wow. yeah, so it was very much yeah, like, like, much much like, like right behind you. you. Yeah, both tone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, I had so much of that just in my corset every single night. <laughs> and so we would walk by, the, he would walk by and we'd go, hi, man. And go, hi, ladies. See you later. And then his wife would smack the shit out of him. That's funny character interaction. Yeah, that's, uh, and it got even better when we started, uh, me and Allie, which Allie played the other saloon girl that I ran with. She played Madame Minerva, we called yeah. her Minnie. Um, we started, you know, the mayor's wife was our friend. She was in our little family. So we were like, we're going to start fucking with her instead. So every time we saw her, <laughs> it was this little like, look at me. <laughs> and at one point we started turning around so our backs were towards her and flipping up our skirts so she saw our ass and our bloomers and she the first time we did that she came back from break and she went what the fuck was that <laughs> I was like I don't know dude I don't know, I was man. Like, just, just making it up as I go I was like what the fuck do you expect like <laughs> Just make it, like, make it up as a go, man. Exactly. It is. I didn't know you guys did that. <laughs> it was so bad. That's fun. Being a saloon girl is so much fun because you can be so inappropriate and no one can tell you anything because it's character. Yeah. Like, it's char How many times did I come up to you and I was like, hi, dude? It's like, 
Lost count. <laughs> lost count. <laughs> After the first freaking day, lost count. 26, I think, every night. <laughs> it's like, how many nights did we have? Yes, yeah, so I tallied them on my hand. <laughs> <laughs> He yeah, had like a tally marks on his hands every night. Yeah. Permanent marker. It's carved into the back of the monster the year. Thirty. Yep. Yep. Thirty six. Thirty six. But it it really depended on the night and which character I was interacting with. Um, my favorite every single night was every time we passed on the pig twins. Uh, they oh, would just shout "dirty money" <laughs> every single time. So that was a guarantee. But you never knew what was gonna happen. What really? Um, I don't know, but I have a question to bring us back. Um. So, Jen, why don't you tell us about how Tootsie developed from the beginning of the season all the way throughout the end of the season. Oh, Ooh, I have something to say about this, but you go first. Metallica? Would you like to share? No, you didn't. You uh, I wish I could tell you the thought process that went into it. Um, I, I started out the season very hesitant because I was so not expecting, you know, as we heard, so not expecting to even be at not, let alone streets, let alone ghost town. So when I got in, um, I literally got in two weeks before a dress rehearsal and all those things had to happen. So I was really crunch time for inspiration and doing research and all that kind of stuff. So my first weekend, I was still doing all my research and I still didn't really know. And um, I was running with um, the mayor's wife at the time because she was originally supposed to be a saloon girl. Um, her her ticket actually originally says saloon girls who so were running together as like rookie saloon girls and um, We we tried our best <laughs> we did our best, but we were told you know, you gotta be more aggressive You gotta be more aggressive and somehow I don't know when I Just decided like okay aggressive for me means be gross, you know because I was like I it's a good. It's a good place to start. <laughs> I, I, yeah, I literally like didn't know where yeah. to go. I was like, I, I want to be grosser. I know for a fact I want to be grosser, um, to counteract how we're painted to look. You know, like we're we're pretty ladies on Ghost Town. How are we gonna, re you know, repel pretty that kind of? Yeah, pretty pretty gross pretty ladies. Gross. Pretty <laughs> gross ladies. But um, I don't know when it started, but I started the spitting thing. And I just started spitting and it started getting scares and eventually that managed to turn into this disgusting, black, drooling, screeching saloon girl that you guys started <laughs> seeing every night. And I don't know where it came from, how it started, but it, it wasn't what I was fucking expecting to be, but it it's, it, I, it worked. I, I could not be happier where, where I got to for my rookie year. There's always, I feel like I can always improve, I can always do better, definitely. Yeah. But um, I I was not expecting that kind of jump, so I'm, I'm pretty proud of myself, but yeah. to be honest with you, I don't know how the fuck I got there. <laughs> I just don't. <laughs> Is there stuff that for next season, if you, can, if you come, if you were to come back, would you like to introduce either a new character or would you like to pick up this character and introduce new traits to it that you want to test out? I hope to come back as the same character, okay. honestly. Um, I Originally, I was having a really hard time as a saloon girl because it was so difficult to um, figure out how to make that gross mm -hmm. um, or how to make that scary. And um, eventually, I actually really, really grew to love mm -hmm. it and people really grew to like my character and how I was putting a spin on it. I had, you know, people telling me, like, mm, we've never seen a saloon girl do that and stuff like that so um it made me feel like you know i can really like not excel but i can really take this character and push it even harder and make something out of it and um i would really love to come back and introduce new things um i've slid for a couple years you're not allowed to slide your first year yeah, yeah. um on streets so i hope to slide hopefully next season but definitely at the very least a costume upgrade mm -hmm. i don't want to wear that fucking skirt <laughs> um <laughs> i i hope to be more mobile and then definitely be able to be more aggressive yeah. because my costume really held back with the mobility and that's why i went the gross route so um i hope to be a lot more um explosive out there next season yeah, and you can slide right or have you practiced sliding like yeah I've, I've slid for three years okay yeah so you have the experience of doing uh, it so. well I've tried for like the first two years and then this past year was when I started sliding really consistently and started yeah. doing it so I feel like obviously I need way more practice I haven't slid since the beginning of haunt stuff and everything yeah. but um, I, I hope to next season. So definitely. is that something the next year you just really want to start practicing on just to get definitely more would, control? And, definitely yeah. really start practicing, definitely the control and everything like that. Um, it, 
if I don't get to slide next season on Ghost Town, not a big deal. I would be happy if I could just come back, mm -hmm. regardless that. of, oh, I'm a slider on Ghost Town, you know. Yeah, I would yeah. just love to come back Definitely. and be back on Ghost Town, yeah. you know, see that little that's thing always, again. I think that's a lot of um, people's thought processes. It's like, okay, I'm going to get back to this year if I want to start sliding. Like, I have to. And there's, yeah. like, some people that would just, like you, who said, even if I don't get sliding, I'd still just be happy to be Absolutely. Yeah, just because I miss the people more than anything. I mean, yeah. it's a wonderful job, but I would be so happy to see those people and have those interactions again and see what happens next season, Definitely. you know? So, sliding or not, I want to come back, you I know? think you, you, even this year, killed it without sliding. Thank you so much. You had you had such great interactions with um, different characters when we would see night by night. Mm -hmm. um, you and Allie were rowing together every night. It's just it was it was hilarious because you get the <laughs> stuff you guys would say. Oh my god! It's kind of like you guys had this little attitude when you walked down there, which you like, I thought was hilarious. <laughs> we I was did. Like, it was it was great, and I loved it. Um, and it's what helped bring these characters to life, and it's what yeah. helped made um, the story progress even more, which I loved. Agreed. Thank um, you. I because. I, you know, you look at everybody. Everybody's character. Everybody has a unique character. Mm -hmm. You know, everybody has different traits they bring to it. I mean, if you if you were to go to this event from start to finish, I can guarantee you, you're gonna see a lot of changes from when you first started. You didn't know. You know, yeah. you're still trying to figure everything out. How am I gonna go about doing this? To the very end, where you're just like, okay, I got this down. I know what I'm doing. I know my role. Um, yeah. And that's something I think we've enjoyed watching a lot this season. Where the progression. The progression. Yeah, yeah. because like. You know, cool. <clears throat> I even think when you guys start, it's a strong start because everybody's just excited to be there. You yeah. Know? And it's a super strong start. And then as it ends, you know, like the character interactions, the, um, the storyline of where it's going, everyone, like I said, knows their role. And it's just, it's amazing. Yeah. I, I think it's, it's this whole cast, not only in Ghost Town, but everywhere. I mean, everywhere. They just, yeah. they just, they know what they're doing. And by the end of it, it puts on one of the greatest shows of the It's the, it's yeah, the confidence you can see towards the end that really makes it, you know? Yeah. Like, I think that just, you know, like, I, I think I mentioned this in my in the first podcast, but, like, no one's ever finished with their character. Yeah. yeah. No. A yeah. character is never completed. Mm -hmm. There's always something going on in your head, like, oh, crap, I could do that. That'd be really cool. But it's like, it's the last night. I'll try it mm -hmm. next year. Mm -hmm. Or I'll just think about more, think about it more. You... You started off, your start was rocky in the sense that you had so many people saying different things about your character. You had so many different like points of view of your own. You also had just the, the unfortunate turn of events of being that one monster that is the just target, a target. The target um, every night. And I am just completely and utterly proud that... You went from that. I remember we had a conversation where I, I thought it was going to be it. I thought it was like, well, crap, that sucks. Like, I'm sorry, I but you were just quit. like, yeah. I almost quit third or fourth week. But I saw the, you Glad know you what? Going. Yeah, <laughs> same. And like, I saw the, you know what? Fuck it attitude just kick up. And you just went. And you just kept going. And I'm proud of you. <laughs> I like, don't want to cry on a podcast. Okay, that's what it's for. This is character appreciation. Yeah. This is our love when, letter to yeah. you. Well, when, you <laughs> when you texted me that you wanted to be on the show, I was like, I can't wait next season. I have to have her this season. Oh, thank you. I have to have her this season because yeah. not only when you texted me when I when I was talking to uh, I talked to Jackie about it because me and her have been bouncing a lot of ideas off each other these last couple weeks and. And when I mentioned that you were going to be on it, she's like, oh, I can't wait to see that episode. Oh, my God. So you have people, when I announce this, that are really looking forward to hearing your story. Hearing, it's okay, Cry. Right. let it out, let it out, <laughs> cry. Oh, Shut man. your face. Did Judas Shut just come out of your mouth. mouth. Oh, cry. Shut the hell of your mouth. Um, so every night, um, there's, a, there's probably a process... Um, of you guys getting into character, you know, when you get there, just to pump your. What was something you did every night to pump, get your, just get going? You know, funny story is that I didn't really get to. Really? You know, you you have to drive there, yeah. absolutely. But for for me, I I have the drive there. I live in Riverside, so it's about a forty five minute <coughs> drive. So yeah. I had a, I had a good amount of time to get my music going. But I was also one of the earliest ones there for my makeup call time. Mm -hmm. So I was there at like 3.30 for my makeup at 4 and then all this stuff to go on. And um, by the time it came to scare, um, you know, we had gone through the meeting or whatever. So I had gone there at 3.30 and had to do all my makeup stuff. And then I would get caught up talking to friends. Our meeting would happen at 6. 6.25 she would let us go and I immediately had to go to gypsy camp 
So there was no real like, you know, Jennifer, remember to put in your headphones, whatever. And uh, it never really bothered me. But what I learned in doing gypsy camp and pre-scare is that for me to hype myself up to be a monster, I have to get my fucking giggles out. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, I'll be breaking character <laughs> all night. Yeah. So um, in gypsy camp, it was a lot of just messing around and you know we would steal each we would call it a um, musical props where mm -hmm. we would take each other's props and you know you know <laughs> you run it out or we you do character dynamics in there because really to, to prep to be into monster mode i kind of had to burn myself out of my energy and my you know ooh, happy fun times to go in and you know murder murder mode murder, so murder, i like literally that. had to get my giggles out before yeah. going out so Unfortunately for everyone who went to the Gypsy Camp pre-scare, uh, you didn't get me at my, my finest scare moments. My peak level. My peak, peak level. murder. <laughs> but, that was something uh, that I think we wanted to do, we're going to definitely try to do next year, was the, the buffet. Yeah, because the great. Because we, we just, I mean, we had the regular pass. Yeah. So, but definitely we talked about it, just like, uh, we heard from other of our YouTuber friends, like, it's worth it. You get to go in the back early. It's like its own little scare zone. Yeah. Like outside of the normal scare zones. Because you got a little bit of mixture of every monster there. Okay. Which I thought was really cool. It's okay. <laughs> we all do that. <laughs> um, uh, no, but I think it's, it's, a, it's a really cool thing. Um, and especially because you get to hit those mazes in the back early. Yeah. And then yeah. you have the rest of the night to just hit the rest. Which by the time the event opens, yeah. it's like those all the, all the ones in the back are dead. Because everybody's in the yeah. focus of coming to the ones in the front. So, yeah, it's something we want to try out next year, and I heard there was a lot of just fun moments oh, during just, the pre-scare. Oh, just just complete messing around. We found out, um, it was when we found out during pre-scare that the bird can hide people under her cape. <laughs> yeah. She'll completely just, like, take her cape. You guys probably saw this in oh, right now. Yeah, oh, that. my God. Yeah, so she would just completely open her cape up, and then I'm painted, like, a pale, like, white color, and then I have cracks. Yeah. So I would hide underneath her cape, and we would say that Mommy Bird and her egg were out. And so we would just, like, waddle around in the pre-scare, and she would whisper. She would be like this, and then she would whisper. She'd be like, to the right, to the right, to the right. And I would just pop out and, like, <laughs> 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 it was just a whole bunch of just uh, just fucking around just yeah. for the first half hour and it really helped because if I didn't get that energy out I would have been doing that shit in yeah. Fog Alley and got in trouble so you know <laughs> I mean to be fair there there are moments during the nights where it's just it's it the moment's right and you're just you're in some sort of mood and your fellow other monsters are feeling that vibe and yeah. you just start Fucking around. That's, <laughs> we, we live for the shenanigans. We, we Kmart is all shenanigans. Yeah, all shenanigans. I taught Ruth how to kill some, how to kill people in Kmart with atonement. I did. I really wish you would have saw it. Like, <laughs> but so I did. Funny. I, I remember the, the, another night. You, she did. I think it was on her last night. You gave her the knife and everything. And yeah. I was just. I was you gave black. the child the knife. Like, yeah, <laughs> and like I saw. Her. I like yelling at them too. Like, She's a child. <laughs> but she <laughs> climbed up onto like the rocks because you know how it's like right by right by their bench where the floodlight comes down. There's that weird like ledge yeah she climbed up there and like what are you doing up there what do you have she's like a knife i'm like no <laughs> what do you have a knife no we were waiting for her to jump off like something crazy i'm surprised oh, yeah. she didn't every night we were just hit a flying crossbody on some unsuspecting soul <laughs> <laughs> we were hoping she was gonna bunny coming down just, you know Batman across the building. Yeah. Um, use her freaking bunny. Just a like giggle. As a freaking <laughs> 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 You should have hung the bunny up as a little flag. Yeah. I posted on the stake. But yeah, all all the the fucky shit happened in Kmart. I mean, there were nights where, you know, we were mocking the chick. I don't know if you guys ever saw that. We would mock the chickens with our fans. <laughs> we would flick the fans. Because we started this thing where the rooster would try to pay the saloon girls for services in front of the head. <laughs> I've never saw that. That's a bold like, move. No, yeah. yeah. Do you not remember no. when she came up and she made, like, a big deal about that? <laughs> Like, like he, she, freaking she was out. getting mad, like, yo, he's a, he's being bad tonight, he tried to hit on another girl. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh shit, here so, we go. So we would have the money, and he would come over, and 
I like one night like he would like come over and like mess with us but one night I just gave him like a toad dollar and he put it in his mouth and he was like running around so she saw that he had the toad dollar and then he comes over to us and he's like talking to us and she starts freaking out she starts freaking the hell out so then it started like this little mini rivalry between the saloon girls and the chickens where every time they would see us he would come over and try to talk to us but she would like shoo us away and like whatever so we call a uh, Jersey Shore Ghost Town Edition <laughs> Jersey Shore Ghost Town Edition but then, so it got to a point where it was like, are we going to mess with them back? Are we going to run away? And I was like, no, we're going to mess with them back. So whenever I saw the chickens, I would flick my fan open and hold it on my back. And the other arm would be a wing. And I would like, and like, <laughs> make fun of them. And that made it worse. So that was, that was always some Kmart stuff or she will stuff. I would say between you two and the, and the chickens, we had the funnest time watching. And then every now and then Judas would ch- to come in to start rambling and be like, what are you you're insane, dude. You're like, I don't yeah. know. <laughs> <laughs> then he come in. <laughs> yeah, he's doing it. <laughs> uh, and then he'd walk away and be like, oh, but like, oh, there they come. And then, they, then you guys walk in. And oh, it's like, it's something that, because you guys, the chickens, um, the girl with the bird mask who had the cape look like Zorro. <laughs> One day you were talking about that high. Ty, yeah. Ty, dude, Ty is the best. She was our saloon. She was like so that was her. She, no matter what, that was her spot. She was always there. That was she, her spot. She made that spot her chart. Did you know she laid an egg the last night of haunt? I'm yeah. sorry. In the planters. <laughs> she, had, she had a chicken tender in it. So no, like, no, 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 no. That was okay. That was the last night on Halloween. <laughs> Halloween, she got in the planter, yeah. and she goes, "I'm gonna lay an egg," and we're like, "What?" She goes, "I'm gonna lay." And she just starts, she just sits there and just starts screaming, <laughs> just screaming. And so I look at her and like in character, but I'm like, what are you doing? She goes, give me some privacy. And I was like, oh, I'm sorry. So I turned around and I held my skirt wide open. So it was covering her while she's screaming and laying an egg behind me. So Nothing guess, to see here. So, Proceed. So you guys would come by. And I would use it for a scare as guests because guests would like look around and I would like lunge out or do a fan of them and be like, don't you know about privacy? Like, this type of bullshit. She, she held Kmart down, but she did so much stupid shit and I loved it. She could get away with so much shit. She was a bird. Oh, yeah. I feel like just, just the women of Ghost Town this season, like the presence was fucking felt. Like, no matter where it went, Kmart, Birdcage, Fog, yeah. Hotel, Market. Like just power mm-hmm. with every every single female monster I've seen. Definitely. Like I'm just like shit. Like especially from Ty, Gecko. especially Gecko. <laughs> especially Gecko. <laughs> especially Gecko. <laughs> like Ty, you, Allie, the two, you two working. Um, freaking, I loved riffing with Talia, mm-hmm. the the female mm-hmm. the female hen. Yeah. Um, Forks. Uh, good Crazy. lord. Crazy. Just Crazy. absolute. Bonkers. Um, I'm trying to think. Why am I drawing a blank? Melissa, how she went oh from my God. one like the start and how where she finished was yeah. just. <sighs> Melissa was the mayor's wife. She started as a saloon girl, mm-hmm. and she she got uh, most improved this season. Wow. Like she just excelled. Like she's amazing. And, Tara uh, and the t- spider. Oh, our spider. Oh my gosh, I love her. Another one I saw a lot too. Yeah. I love her spider. Her dynamic with the bull, the spider and the bull running together. Was That's not cool. something I ever expected, but they worked so well together. Yeah. She would like dance little circles around mm-hmm. him. It was so cool. They have the same pace ish. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like, but I mean, I don't want to see Thrash run in those platforms because I don't no. want him to fall. No. <laughs> he tried a couple times with us and he would just get winded. <gasps> and I felt <gasps> so bad. <gasps> yeah. It, it made me, I was like, I'm sorry. I was like, I'm so sorry. I love when they charge people. <laughs> yeah. yeah. When he does the little like pitchfork flip yeah. and everyone just scatters. Oh, Dude, I've almost gotten impaled with that thing. Yep. So many times. Yes. Oh, and someone have a light on. He's like, oh, oh, yeah. yeah. I was like, I don't blame you, dude. I'm with you that on that sucks. one. That sucks. Oh, yeah, sucks. So, yeah, yeah tell me more about that. I know that sucks for you guys. I, oh, the light thing? Mm-hmm. I got blinded so many times. There was a night where I literally, like, lost, like, my, my vision for a bit. Oh, I have an astigmatism, and I should be wearing contacts. I don't. So I wore non-prescription colored contacts, mm-hmm. you know, like a smart person. Oh, yeah, definitely. Um, Great I, decision. My brain can <laughs> My three brain cells are trying really hard. So there was a night where. (laughs) Anyway, there was a night where it was just really busy. I think it was the second to last weekend. And we were transitioning coming from Fog Alley to Kmart and then out towards Candy Shop. And in Kmart, someone blinded me with their flash. And so I was like 
okay, I already can't see because there were the whites of my, my contacts yeah. starting to move yeah. and then I couldn't see. I was like, shit. So then we go around a candy store where it's bright as hell and I couldn't see. And then we literally hide. We start going around to like hide into the shade and someone does it again, except their flash this time was right here. Mm. Oh, God. Because there was no yeah. walking room. That rules. So it like <laughs> shocked the fuck out of me. So I ran and I, um, this is a secret. We, you know, there's the portrait stand right there that's usually up during knots. Mm -hmm. It's shut down. So we went and we hid behind, you know, the little stand right there. And I was literally trying to get my vision back because I was like, it, it looked like when you stand up too fast and you kind of like see Oof, little spots. Light, yeah. Yeah. And when that's you get, like sun blindness. That's like, yeah. yeah. And that's never happened to me before. And I was like, oh my God. And so we were talking about, um, if I would have to take out my contacts that night, but mm. I didn't. Powered Worked through. Out, yeah. But it's, that it's shit scary. Sucks. It's scary more than Because anything. back oh. in the day when like phones didn't really have flashlights on them, it was always a camera. Yeah. And there on streets there's always a situation where it's a flash of light followed by a fist to your face. Yeah. Oh. Because a lot of people like it's just blind them, then punch them. Yeah. So it it's embedded in a lot of us to as soon as you see a flash in your face, just duck down. Because mm -hmm. you don't know if there's a fist flying at you after that. Yeah. All right, perfect. Um, so, why don't we talk a little bit about one of your best scare techniques, in our opinion, at least, okay. your fan. So, what, what made you decide to use a fan, and like, how did the fan evolve? Uh, the fan started because I honestly was at wardrobe for fittings, and I was like, um, what the hell do I do? <laughs> and they were like, what do you mean? And I was like, well... For the most part, it was for hair because mm -hmm. I was like, what do I do for my hair? And they were like, well, you could have, uh, you know, a wig or you could have your hair up and have an accessory. And I was like, oh, we can have accessories. And they were like, yeah, a lot of saloon girls, you know, will add feathers in their hair and then they'll have a, a prop fan. Mm -hmm. And so they gave me that idea at wardrobe. And I was like, I'm going to fucking take that and run with it. <laughs> so I didn't know what kind of fan they were talking about because they were like, don't have it be like plastic, don't have it be paper, whatever. They were like, we want a lace and bamboo fan. And so I was like, okay. So I bought a lace and bamboo fan, which are not loud, which mm. are very small. Mm -hmm. And I bought it and I brought it in. And I was running with Allie the first night. And Allie has this gigantic fan that has plastic prongs and it's a big fabric piece. And I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> and she, you like pull yours out you're like... I was like... <laughs> That the original fan I have now is the fan I use for my makeup when I need to like set my sprite. Like that's how tiny it is, always. right? Yeah, so, but yeah. like, so now I use it. It's it's that dainty yeah. where it's just like it's that little. So, she was like, "Yeah, here's an extra." So she let me use an extra for these uh, second half of the first weekend, and then I literally went on Amazon and I was like, "Giant fucking fan!" <laughs> and it's actually um, a drag queen performance fan. Oh, okay. Because okay. they're huge, they're gigantic, and they're meant to be loud for that, like, you know, mm -hmm. uh, punctuation of, like, a performance. I've always thought of them, like, the Japanese type. I think they're technically, like, yeah. the, it's one of those Amazon things where they just have, like, 50 words in the title just for, like, the relevancy <laughs> pop-up. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it says, like, drag queen performance, dance, geisha, and I'm like, what the fan, fuck? Fan, fan, I'm like, fan. is it a hand? <laughs> yeah, fan. <laughs> Fun. Yeah, exactly. A party <laughs> trick. And I'm wow. like, fuck, okay. <laughs> I think one of the words is like snapping. And I was like, just give me the fucking fan. And so literally 10 bucks, pack of two, bought those. Um, bought about mm, three packs of those because nice. they break yeah. every weekend. Um, I think that fan broke twice a weekend on average because... <sighs> You snap them so hard, and they are five dollars a piece. So you know, you feel the five dollars breaking you your hand. You feel. There were nights where I flapped it open, and I held it, and I was like, "It just fucking broke." <laughs> the first ten minutes of the night, one night it broke, and I was like, "Fuck!" And so, <laughs> so I wrapped like fucking electrical tape around because it, it it never breaks like where you're like, "Oh, I'm gonna glue the fabric like back onto the thing." It's like no, the the plastic prong completely fucking snaps in half, <laughs> and you're like, "Okay, cool." So I bought about. 10 million of those nice. but they they work they yeah. work like a dream and i um I amazon was, already had you ready they were like oh you're back for more huh <laughs> they were it was prime. Pre it was like pre your thing cart. over and over and again. they were prime they knew what they were doing they were like this is gonna break in two days so we're gonna give you two day shipping like, fucking guys <laughs> 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 We're gonna give you free tuition for the season on us. Yeah, for the season. They were like, You want a membership? I was like, Fuck you. Yes, I do. Yes, like, sign me up. Sign me up. I need Amazon Prime. I was like, I need these fans like tomorrow. So, <laughs> so I just had.
had a bunch of fans and um eventually the last one broke the last one broke on the last friday of the weekend or the last thursday of the last weekend and i was like I'm not buying a new pack of fans for the last two fucking days. Yeah, two days. So I taped that shit together. What this, it's like a crackhead fan. I taped that shit together. <laughs> One of the plastic prongs had broken. Yeah. So I just completely snapped it off and cut the fabric where the extra fabric was laying. So yeah. it's a little bit shorter than like the original fan. That shit still fucking works. Word. Damn, you Frankenstein that motherfucker. It's, it's alive! alive. <laughs> <laughs> and it was so worth it. So I think I have a friend who, um, he wants to customize the Saloon Girl fans. Oh, nice. So I think hopefully next year we can customize them if they don't fucking break. I was going to say make customize them and make them heavy duty. That yeah. They yeah. last at least half the season. At like least half because Instead it's so, days, you, know? you know how disappointing, nothing breaks your character faster than when you get a really good scare and you feel your prop just crumble in your hands and you're like, oh. Yeah. You're like, ah, <laughs> shit. Yeah. It's <laughs> <laughs> at one point, I literally shook it at someone, and they still got a scare. But I was like, "Look at it!" Like I'm so mad. I was pissed. Like, you made me break this. <laughs> there was a woman where there was a moment where there were a couple moments where I would flap it, and especially when the fan was shorter because I had to adjust how I held it. Yeah. I would flick it open, and it would fall on the floor, and I would go, "Look what you made me do!" And the customer <laughs> would run away because they felt bad, and I was like, I'll "Pick up my shit and go." It was. Those things were great, but they were also the worst, and yeah. I hate them. Yeah. yeah. So two for ten on Amazon. Anyone that got scared by that? That one kid who was asking where you got them. Yeah. Dude, you know where you get them. Where you get that? Where you get that? That was hilarious. <laughs> um. So when did you know you wanted to become a scare actor? You know, I didn't. I didn't. It when I so Jim, I know we got a Judas story here. Yeah. I'm sorry. Um. So what had happened? What happened was was that I went to my old haunt not knowing what I was getting into because they originally posted on social media, it was a scare actor from the original haunt that was like, hey, we're looking for scare actors, but we're also looking for makeup artists. Mm -hmm. And at that time, I was really into special effects makeup, um, and I was like, I'm going to go in for makeup. So I go in, and all of a sudden, um, the makeup artists had to give scare auditions. And I was like... What the fuck is this shit? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because I was not ready at all, and I was like, "What the fuck?" So they had me do a quick audition. They were like, "Okay, we're gonna hire you for makeup, but you know, like we might throw you in um, if if we ever need backup." And like the first weekend, they threw me in for backup in a maze, um, and they would keep me in, pull me out, keep me in, pull me out, depending on what they needed. And one night, my boss comes up to me. And he goes, "We need you on streets." And I was like, what the fuck do you mean you need me on the streets? So, I'm here to do makeup, not the yeah. streets. <laughs> and I literally did it out of spite because I was like, well, I'll think about it. And he goes, I'll ask someone else. I knew you couldn't do it. Oh. And I was like, Ooh. where do I get the costumes at? I was like, mm -hmm. where I was like, where are the street costumes at? So Some he... Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> so, she, um, watched, she watched a mother. I literally, I was like, give me the fucking clown costume. I was like, fuck, did you Send in the clown. Send in the clown. Send in the clown. So I was like, I was pissed. I literally started it out of spite. Mm -hmm. Just to be like, yeah, I fucking can. Yeah. If that doesn't say something about my energy in that one sentence, I don't know what does. Or but I, yeah. And so then they really liked me and they kept me out on streets. They had me stop doing makeup because they wanted me out on streets. And then I kept going back to that haunt. And it turned into something that I loved, you know? Do you, do you wish you would have stayed on makeup, or are you glad you... I know. I, like, at the time, I was just barely, like, playing with it. Mm -hmm. And I already knew that this that was something that was going to be a hobby and just for fun. Um, but learning that I would much rather be the person in the makeup mm -hmm. and acting it out than being the one doing it, mm -hmm. I was like, cool. Like, nice. it turned out to be for the better. An because amazing, uh, brilliant yeah. accident. Right. A wonderful accident. A wonderful <laughs> accident. Some Judas of them just are accidents, right, Judas? Like, yeah, there's, 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 there's no Judas, accidents, just wonderful Judas accidents. Judas was just bringing somebody some food, and all of a yeah. sudden he's like, oh, it's already 5 a.m. My friend hit me up. No mistakes, just yeah. happy yeah. accidents. Just happy accidents. Just happy okay, Bob Rahat. <laughs> 12 years later, look at him now. Yeah. Monster, Monster of the Year. Monster Wait, so how did that really make you feel winning Monster of the Year? That was, it was nuts. I like, thought he was going to... Piss his pants. I mean, I honestly don't like. Uh, oh, it, the, the, it happened so. <laughs> I, it happened so fast. Um, I was I was anticipating not getting it, mm -hmm. and I was more so just like you know what? No, it was a fun season. 
I had fun. Yeah, Everyone had fun. Kidding, damn it. He's not like that. People. It's he's my not. word. A little bit. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it. I didn't get a chance to react to it because yeah, everything happened. I heard everyone screaming, and then Lucio jumped on my face. Yeah. And then I looked behind Lucio, saw that I had one. I was like, oh shit! And so Lucio dragged me to the stage. And you guys know who Spaz is? I've heard the name. Spaz. He's a, a fun, like, iconic oh, ghost town monster. Right there. Yeah, mm -hmm. he's an iconic monster. I watched after I saw it, it was like a 4K read. I was like, what is this? Ooh, this is a post depression. Here we go. <laughs> and I was like, oh, oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I said it to him, like, watch this shit. This is good. <laughs> it's like um, 2 a.m. Watch this. <laughs> I'm trying to sleep. I'm on watch. a work night. I had to be up at 5.30. I'm like, oh, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> I get that. Yep. I feel that. But he was there, and he is a, a monster I've idolized. He's like a superhero, you know? Yeah. He's like the stone cold of Ghost Town. Um, and I'm being dragged by Lucio, and he stops me, and he looks me in the eyes, and he, like, shakes my hand, and he's like, hey, congratulations, welcome to the top of the mountain. And I'm like, whoa. <laughs> that, that's when it hit, and then they put me in front of the stage, and everyone, and then freaking... Speech, speech, exactly, speech, I'm just yeah. like, oh, no. <laughs> and so I forget what I said, but I know I meant it. Like, it was just, without people, without the talent that I have around me out there every night, I'm not trying to be as good as them. I'm not trying to push myself to, you know, be better than I was the night before. So, like, if it wasn't for them, I wouldn't have had that award. Mm -hmm. And it was just... 12 years of a lot of hurdy, achy limbs, and just a little bit of like, no one like, no one like says, no one expects something like this to happen, mm -hmm. you know? But you're like, in the back of your head, like, it'd be pretty fucking cool. Yeah. And then when it happens, you're like, this is really fucking cool. Definitely. And so it was, I feel like this was not a moment where I was like awkward with praise. This was like a genuine moment where I felt that I deserved it. I mean, yeah. and and that goes that goes for um, I, I I saw who won rookie of the year. Oh my god, yes! And that's <laughs> another good one. But like, you know, she 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 earned that award. Yeah, Hell yeah she if did. I can give a rookie of the year award to everyone that I saw this year out there, I probably would. Yeah, because there was a ton of rookies, and yeah. was, you wouldn't have known so it. I feel like everyone had their stripes on yeah. those towns. Like I I had no idea who was a rookie and who wasn't until so, like I actually was. Talking to Jackie, and she's like, "Oh yeah, she's new this year." I'm like, no. What? Why? We... No. You're lying. Yeah, no, dude. There's nah, a there was a ton, and like, I feel like if, if Knights of War did a banquet, like, <laughs> we'd be dropping <laughs> money to like, everyone's getting an award. <laughs> everyone we saw is getting an award. It, it was, was uh, it was kind of cool because I noticed, like. Just young scraps, you know, just like they're like, I need it. I need to go out there. I need to be better. I need to. I need to do this. I need to do good. I need to be a phenomenal monster. And I saw it with like, with Alicia, mm -hmm. rookie of the year. I saw it with Cat, the candle maker. I saw it with Seth, who was his first time in Ghost Town. He didn't know what he was doing at the beginning, but then he found his groove and started kicking ass. You know, I saw it with David, uh, with his fucking vampire, like. That so was really Jen. fucking cool. With Stop. Jen. <laughs> she knew I was going to put her on the spot. She looked at me and was like, don't do it. Don't you say money. Don't look at me. Jen, Jen out there spitting on everything. Uh, you're, Allie. On you're on hostile level now. Yeah. The spit so, level. Don't say that. You're on hostile level. Don't say that. If you, keep, if you keep doing what you're doing, you'll you be a stable character. You're out nuts hostile. Um... I don't know. That, that's, that's You're going to get me fought. <laughs> We're going to start a fight. Gonna You're going to be out Hoss next be year. Like, me next season be like, He's just going to appear level. behind you. It's going to be slow character <laughs> development every year where she's just going to go more and more insane and eventually be like the lady version of Hostel. Oh, Hostel's wife in the storyline. Did you watch that podcast? Yeah. yeah. I learned so much from him and I was just like, Okay, this is I was name. messaging him. I was like, "Dude, what the fuck?" I was like, "Are you?" I was like, "That was intense." He was like, "Yeah." I was like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, "That sounds like that sounds like Lucio." <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. We could have kept going with that man. He had so he much did. to we say. We could have honestly filmed a four-hour podcast if we would have. You should have. Yeah. We had the time. It was a Thursday. <laughs> it was a Thursday. We had work. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I came back to his house. I think that Saturday or Sunday to watch yeah, it. So Sunday, yeah, a little gotcha. bit bubbly. Okay, a little. Oh, AEW, a little bit of bubbly. Yeah, bubbly. Um, but no, I I genuinely have just had a fucking fantastic time this year. 
I can't stress it enough every podcast that we do with a news character who either interacted with us this season, meeting for the first time. Yeah. I mean, I'm going to be honest with you. Every character that we've interviewed and they've came over, it's like something, it's like you're meeting a new person. Because, like, you see them one way and then they come over and you're just like, less smelly. I, I only know you and your man. I think I'm the same. Who are you? <laughs> same son. I think I'm the same smelly. <laughs> hey, okay. it just comes you're with okay the job. Smelly. <laughs> okay. okay, smelly. Um, but we just, I mean, just meeting everybody, hearing everyone's stories, hearing how everybody just just getting messages from even characters who are on the show just is like, this is such a good thing that you're doing. Yeah. It's, I, just, I just am so thankful for meeting people, just doing yeah. something that I felt should have been done years ago. Yeah. And it's such a weird feeling of gratitude, not to sound, you know, full of myself or just to speak on behalf in such a light, but it's, it, nobody's done this for us. Yeah. You know, and like, it's just, you want to just talk haunt? Like, yeah. a lot of the monsters can talk haunt all day. Yeah. Yeah. No, you know? yeah, we've seen it firsthand. And, like, you guys are just these two really fucking rad dudes that appreciate, you know, what we what we do. And, like, honestly, there are some moments where we're like, why are we doing this? Like, do we need to have this character? Like, nobody's going to fucking know. We're and then doing this. You two. You're doing this because of that <laughs> exact Same. moment right now. You're doing this because of that award you won. They're doing it. You're doing this because of the awards you're gonna win. Uh, and you're scaring because you care. In the words of Monsters Inc. Yeah, we scare that's, because that's, we that's care. Our, that's now our official thing. The catchline for scared to preaching which be, yeah. they scare because they care. Yeah. In the words of uh, Monsters Inc. Yeah, I mean, because every now and then you get a little rough crowd, but yeah. there are certain scares every out there that you get that are worth it. There's kids these days that have passes to go to see their favorite monsters. Yeah. You know, just to be looked up at. But it's it's weird. Like, not weird as in, like, yeah. it'll go away, but it's just like, this is real? Like, people are coming just to see us. Yeah. You know I mean? It was rad one day. We were sitting, waiting for uh, the opening, and we were, like, over there. I don't know what that area is called. Like, where they have, like, something for, like, drinks and stuff. Oh, you're talking about by the uh, funnel cake stand. Like, the funnel cake stand and stuff like that. I don't know. By that? Or in like, Ghost Town or where? Yeah, in Ghost Town. Where they do the, the, you know, the, the, sh the pre-show before. Like right before the hotel. Like right by the hotel side. The oh, gotcha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Walk it off yeah. right there, you know, where we stand. Yeah. Where oh, we, Sutter's. Yeah, Sutter's. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then we just see like this little kid and his dad out. talking. Um, and they're just like, oh my god, I can't wait to see the She-Wolf tonight. Oh, I can't wait to see this character. I, yeah. Oh, I can't wait to hear about this character. And, like this little girl was, or guy, so, I don't remember what the agenda of the child was. Sure. Was like six or seven was like, Asking their dad so many questions, like that's the fucking coolest. That I was yeah, just like, like me personally. I was like, I can't wait to see Slim Girls tonight. That's that's so fucking cool. Yeah. Like, there's I remember like we scaring know. kids, and they're just like, uh, like, I love scaring kids, and they go, that was a cool one. I'm like, thanks, man. I know. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you got me. Like, like when they're like, you got me. I'm like, that's yeah. So but it's, 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 is that like your favorite scare? Like when kids are like, "Hey, well, like, with you got kids, me? I I kind of like gauge it. So it's like if they're obviously not vibing with it, I'm not gonna go full on mm -hmm. because I don't know. Like you're what seven or eight? Like your parents probably didn't want to find a babysitter or like they just dragged you here. So this you're here to no fault of your own, unless yeah. you're here because you want to be. Um, and so I'll just very mildly like scare them, and it's fun because I'll see them jump. But then they'll smile. Yeah, they get a like, big old grin. Like they'll get like like excited. I'm like, that's weird, dude. But yeah. <laughs> no, and, and that was the thing we had two other guests on, and that was the thing where they would they literally saw kids being scared, went out of their way to calm them down. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, um, that's the thing. Actually, like you know, explain to them in character, like, listen, yeah, you're supposed to be scared here, but this isn't like it's one of those things where when you get scared. You laugh about it. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's supposed to be a fun experience. It's like you're. It's we're here to entertain you. Exactly. Yeah. It's it's it's. Uh, at the end of the day, it's one big show that yeah. tells the yeah. story. You go through these mazes. They tell other stories. Whether it ties into the event, whether it's just its own story. And at the end of the day, you guys are there to entertain us and put on a fucking great show. Yeah. Every single night that the haunt goes on, kids at haunt. Yeah, like it's it's definitely. Um... It's it's a rough thing because you don't know the situation. More often than not, I've seen kids. I've seen kids in fucking strollers. Oh, oh yeah. my god! First weekend, someone brought a fucking like three week old baby, and I was like, "What the fuck you are you doing?" You had a hostel doing? story. It was more of like I I didn't really know. 
actually really, actually kind of similar. Fuck! <laughs> so, what did you do? No, what did you do? I was laughing at the hostel story. Did you hear the hostel I story? I haven't heard the hostel story yet. <laughs> you saw a baby and he was kind of like playing with it, right? And there's people that hang out on the porch, you know? There's, there's the fans that will hang out on the porch. Uh, that's terrifying for and one. Freaking, and freaking, you know, the baby would walk away and he'd look at the people at the porch and he'd like act like he was grabbing the baby and he'd just go, ah! <laughs> <laughs> throw the baby. I was, I, when I, I heard that story, I looked at him like, Lucio, what is wrong with you? Lucio, Lucio, Lucio's fucked up, dude. It's the best in the best way possible. But then when you meet the guy, it's like no, he's the nicest he's man in the cool whole world. Like, who are you? Are you the awesome? nicest man? <laughs> like that. I the first thing he told us when, he, when we met him, he goes, uh, "See my hair?" I'm like, "Yeah." People think I was wearing a wig this season. It looks like a wig. Yeah, it looks like, like I, I kind of figured it was real. He goes, "Yeah, look at it." He just started pulling his hair. It's real. Did, it's real. I, did I tell you the 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 time he asked me to pour water on his head? No. Yeah. <laughs> I was there. Yeah, like the hostel. Two feet away from my table, so I'm sitting there watching this. So we have a water jug in our break room. And I was getting some water, and he comes up, and he's like, "Hey, I need you to pour water on my head." I'm like, <laughs> "Okay." So like, are you sure? He's like, "Yeah, just." pour it on my head and he lowers his head and I take my cup and I start pouring it like right on the crown of his hair and he goes oh fuck no no not there not there just right here right here I'm like well fuck man you didn't specify anything he's like fuck okay I'm sorry I'm sorry no I didn't specify but right here pour it right here I just heard them screaming and I look over and Lucy was just like shaking because he startled shivering. me when he screamed I was like what oh what what and you were in your mask too it was just it was just these two characters just screaming at each other and I was like, no, take that outside. You just hear hostiles freaking from back. <laughs> it would take, you said it, it would take him a minute. Like sometimes you would fucking hear that shit coming in. Yeah. And he's like, I never, I don't remember. I don't know. <laughs> of course you don't remember. remember a lot Everyone of shit. else around you does. <laughs> Dude, that. We've heard stories from both him and Merrick. Yeah. And I, and I confronted Merrick about it. He goes, I, sometimes, I, I, yeah, I, I take me a minute to cool down. And then I've even heard stories from like Seth. Like Seth told me like at the when the at the end of the night he goes, "You guys ever feel like, you know, you still feel it?" Like you know, I was <laughs> you like, sound that's, like a, that's a good Seth impression. Seth, like, Seth, Seth, Seth was like, uh, "No, uh, I mean, I feel like still going like, going to bed." <laughs> uh, we asked some people on Instagram some questions. Oh yeah. Ooh. Um, and we got a couple of them. First one comes from Miss Jacqueline Winters herself. Jackie. Hi, Jackie. Hi, Jackie. Um, what do you see or want for the future of your character? Uh, Shit. <laughs> um, uh, do you want to go first? First of all, I want to be able to come back and reclaim that character. You know, I would love yeah. to continue that. Um, God, I would really just love to flesh her out a little bit more in a way that can be translated better onto the streets. Mm -hmm. um, because she's a saloon girl, it's pretty cut and dry, you know? Uh, but just, you Give know... Some more depth. She's not just a saloon girl, she's Tootsie out there. It's tootsie. Is there, is there, would there be something that you want to work on for, like, throughout the year of, like, a more backstory for her, or is it something just, like... The backstory is all over the place right now because yeah. of a lot of character influence that happened this season, so mm -hmm. I, I definitely gotta, you know, get that straight. But, um... I definitely want to be able to to do the backstory because this uh, this season I didn't talk. Mm -hmm. So next season I really want to like figure out what is this girl's voice? What is she going to say? What is her attitude? And you know, I feel like the voice and how you speak can change your whole character. Yeah. yeah. Um, and so I I need to figure that out more than anything. Especially with the whole like Sarah Marshall. War. I don't know how long they're going to be doing that for. But, yeah. I mean that really. Or Origins is just such a fresh maze. They're gonna be doing yeah. it for a minute. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Origins is a, a fresh while. maze. Yeah. yeah. Um, but I mean, I just feel like that—that's an opportunity for like, if you didn't get something this year, you can revamp it for next year. Yeah, so, exactly. And that's what I think. That's what a lot of characters did for this year. It's like when this whole lore happened. It's like a lot of people, they added on to it or revamped it with some add-ons. You know, it was like a yeah. It's yeah. like a reboot, but not a complete reboot. Yeah, it was just kind of a little bit tweaked. Like, it's a reboot. Yeah. Which I'm not sponsored by. Don't know why I brought it up. I haven't seen it yet. <laughs> I'm trying to excel. Do this. Um, for, well, for one, to come back with, and just to be able to do it would be really, really cool. We're going to. I yeah. continue. Well, you don't know. No, nobody knows until... Guys, Monster of the Year isn't coming until back. Until paperwork. <laughs> we'll see. You put it on his website. Uh, Monster of the Year? I don't want to be that guy. we <laughs> 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 like, all right, I'll be like, all right, get the fuck out. But um, just to expand on the whole 
lore of Judas knowing everyone's secrets mm -hmm. and knowing the dirt that is Calico. Um, I'm also talking to a friend of mine. Mm -hmm. She had this idea of a, of a character she wanted for Ghost Town and then I've, I've also kind of come up with this different this story for uh, a wife for Judas. Um, back before the curse, his name was actually Arthur Kane. Um, and he got Judas because yeah, Arthur Kane. because Emery, his wife, um, w when he when Arthur was being upset with or you know not very fair with some of the townsfolk of Calico because of what he was hearing, uh, Emery would tell him to not be such a Judas. Um, and so that's where he gets the name from. But I've talked to her, and she's got all these like different ideas, and it's still formulating. That's the thing we have until mm -hmm. next year. But that's, that's a cool that's idea. Where you uh, that's the the lore I'm working on. I thought, I thought you just liked the Judas Priest so much. You're just like, oh, oh, dude. I mean, not not, not law, just that, but law. like, uh, it was just kind of that kind of stemmed from the mayor and him and Judas knowing all these sh all the shit and like doing that. So you were selling stuff to the mayor. Is that what we're hearing? Yeah, <laughs> maybe. You got some gold. A little bit. I'm going to walk in there and ghost down alive next summer and just be like, uh, Judas? Like yeah, that? actually, there was a cool thing. Thrash, Thrash actually wanted to do a thing where, because uh, his character in Ghost on Alive has, owns the barbershop, he's a doctor, and he wanted to do a thing where he's like going through the archives, Yeah. and he finds a picture of Arthur, uh, or Judas, and... Dude, that really ties in the wall. Uh, yeah, and my, my friend was like, we should go and like get pictures done, so it's like... And they, and you like, can do them on the side, I mean, you just tell them on site too they yeah. have that old style and you could just you should just you should do neat. something like if you can even try to come in your own cost you'd be like listen we're trying to yeah get, you can we're trying to set up this kind of lore it was an idea like, that was passed but like are you being you could do it on somewhere else too. yeah but just to be able to have a character that is revisited and everyone knows mm -hmm. you know just be able mm -hmm. to go up to merrick or that'd be really cool if i can figure out some way to have a lore about the bride yeah like that's like Top tier. That's like fuck. How am I gonna do that? It's yeah, gotta be cool. She's an interesting. She's, yeah. she's she's an enigma, man. Dancing Shh, around all night, right. smiling. I, I think me and you talked about it. She bonkers, dude. Has to be like so tired, smiling. It, by the, like the rest of the season, she just doesn't smile. Whatever it is that drives her, it's a nonstop really? fuel. She's backstage and she's the sweetest, like I smiley bet. No, person. Yeah, I bet. She she she's like she's a very such, nice person. She's such a, like the kindest soul you'll ever no, meet. Yeah. It's kind of cool because you see her. As the bride out there, and then she gets back. She, you know, sits down. She's on her break. She's eating whatever snacks, and then she starts playing some of the hood ass music. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, nice. We've got DMX <laughs> playing. We've got Busta oh, Rhymes oh. playing, and she's just kind of like looking she at her phone. Some Cardi. Like she, she's going off. <laughs> she hood. She real hood. But That's like, legit. yeah. But just to keep so answered. Cool. Just, I want to be able to incorporate everyone with you this one. Mm -hmm. Really cool. Um, dang, you should try to get you to get a haircut for her. Who, who, the bride? Yeah. No, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I would like, I, no, don't do that to me. <laughs> don't put that on me. I got him to shave my legs one night. Nice. Yeah. I was like, bye. <laughs> <laughs> and he gave me like this, like, little, like. Oh, no, I'm still waiting for my shaving. That's why I haven't shaved all year. Oh, saving up for me, huh? Yeah. Saving up. I'll wait a whole year. Virus time. actually had hair. Put on his head. Yeah, I actually and got some of it the last night. He gave me. He like ripped out a piece on. He, he's he's like, fucking ah, crazy. Was, he gave it he to me had like, someone in Kmart, mm -hmm. and he was just speaking like softly, but loud enough for them to hear. Like, help, help me, help, help me. And the, obviously, the the like, I think it was the girlfriend was not having it. And then I just come around. I'm like, here, let me get that for you. And I just grab a little of the hair, and I take my. I take a tome and I just start pulling on it, and he starts screaming. Yeah. And I'm like, ah, uh, because I didn't know if I was like digging into his actual scalp or if it was adhesive I was pulling off. Oh my so I'm like, God. I'm so sorry, Byron. Oh, what, so what was so hilarious is like the night I saw him with hair, I looked over at him and I'm like, I'm digging the hair, and he goes. It's a new style I'm trying out. <laughs> In character, I was like, "Oh my god, this guy's great, dude." I love him. We had we had some fun moments with him. I, he had a fun moment with him when he was chasing that girl down Kmart. Oh started my naming god. body parts. <laughs> yes, god. I loved. Let me be Achilles. I want your Achilles. I, I, I was gonna hurt a lot. I, I, would, I would also love when he'd run behind people and be like, "Come here, come here!" <laughs> that was hilarious. Um, was well, he? He was the one that put someone in the. He was one of the people. Put them in you guys know room. about the uh, right there by Kmart um, when you go into Fog Alley before? There's that little like kind of 
Oh, the the hurdle. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Yep. Yep. It was like him and three other the crazies. They put like two girls in there. Yeah, and they actually um, were dumb enough to go in. Yep. Good. Like, you guys. Are I'm glad that yeah. happened. Yeah. <laughs> I was glad to watch. If you're stupid enough to listen, you deserve it. Yeah. I think I got it on film too. So hey, jump off that. Okay. Ooh, if y'all do it. Seth was telling us in Hollows, he used to make people buy churros. <laughs> I could have fucking uh, it. it. People would offer me their beer. That was great. I yeah. offered, I would offer some people like if they if I saw them um like um one of the one of the chickens and um one of the chickens and uh she wolf. I would offer them my funnel cake and uh the chicken actually gave me a funny response. She said um no, I'm on a diet. Yeah, I offered her a cockroach one. I the last night I was um, carrying out a cockroach in my mouth because uh, Kenzie hates him. Oh, so no, I would um, pull out a cockroach and I pulled it out on Kmart just because I like needed to breathe and I had like drool and the cockroach in my mouth and I was like, <laughs> and so I pulled it out and I offered it to her and she goes, dang it. I was like, oh, you're so cute. <laughs> she, she did something funny another night too was when she was in Kmart and every time the fog would come out, she'd act like she's taking a shower. Yeah. I was like, yeah. what is happening right now? She's so Jeez. So she's my, my favorite. Dog is rad. Those two every night so man, they would make sure they they would go out of their way to say hi to us. I love them. On the last night we were someone was sitting in our bench and we were sitting on the planner right there where everybody goes in, in the dark to so yeah. hide. And um she sees us and she goes, Why are you guys here? you know, and her and her chicken yeah. and everything. And I'm like, Oh, you know, some people are sitting on our bench. And she goes, kick them the fuck out. <laughs> and then she goes and walks over there, and they both come back, and they go, they signal us, and they give us the bench. And I'm like, they fucking know. Oh, my God. <laughs> they know this is our spot, man. I love that. I And I, and I liked earlier, AJ actually remembered it, or referenced it to your guys' bench. It's like, is, yep. it that, is it that much of a staple now that it's just like it's, bench? There were nights where I would be coming from Market Street mm-hmm. down Kmart towards the windmill, and I'd be like, you know, I'm going to see if they're there. And I'd go towards that, and I'm like, oh, shit, they're here. Every night. Sick. Every, every night. And I'm like, that's Brad, what's up, guys? <laughs> and I was telling her, we actually carved our initials. Yeah. yeah. We put bench warmers. Shh. Get it out. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, <laughs> back to, uh, um, so, Daredevil said, and I think you may have. Daredevil? Daredevil. Oh, Daredevil. Matt Murdock. Right. Right. Almost, almost got him. I like almost. how you know who Dipper was. Um, <laughs> he said, come on. Uh, what made you decide to be a saloon girl? And that was... You yeah. think, I, I think it was, for yeah. me at least, personally. Yeah, yeah. Right, tell me know. about it. Tell me about your experience. <laughs> there, was, there was no decision, man. There, there really wasn't. There were people that were encouraging me. Um, after the whole weird employment center audition thing that I had. Mm-hmm. Um, I was already in, you know, the Buena Park area, so I decided to go to uh, to slide that night at the Chapman Park. And, you know, we were just sitting around talking about it and I was like, you know, man, um, I don't I don't know what to do. I was like, either way they're holding me a spot in paranormal, but um, I, I don't know what to go for. Because it was so late in the auditions that I was like, I don't know which zones are filled. I don't know if they're just gonna tell me off the bat what I'm getting. I don't know what's gonna happen. And um, a couple people told me they were like, go for Ghost Town and go for a saloon girl. Just do it. Nice. Just do it. And before I could even, before they could even ask me, like, what are you interested in? <laughs> but Nike was like, here's a, here's a <laughs> lawsuit. Here's a swoosh. Slapped a sticker on my forehead. <laughs> and, um, no, but before, you know, before I could even, you know, ask anything, that was what was immediately given to me. And I guess they liked the way I played the part, and they continued to like the way that you kicked uh, ass at I it. So, thanks. <laughs> they continued to enjoy it. So, um, I I didn't choose it at all. It's one of those characters. I I I don't do hyper feminine characters. Mm-hmm. Even when I was at my old haunt, I was pretty tomboyish, and um, I was an asshole. I was pretty much the barker of my old haunt. Um, I was I was a dickhead. <laughs> and um, if you can, if you can believe that, it's a stri- Tomboys are cool, though, man. What's up? Tomboys are fun, though. We're, we're fucking cool as hell. Yeah, but yeah. So, so a saloon girl was the very last thing I could ever imagine. It's literally a corset and a dress being a pretty lady. And I was like, fuck that shit. Mm-hmm. And then I got it. And I was like, well, fuck my life. My I'm going to spit loogies at people. <laughs> yeah, so I started spitting loogies at people and tied it in a little bit. Yeah. 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 <laughs> um, Ashley asked, what was the best slash worst part of being a saloon girl? Uh, AJ, what was the best slash <laughs> uh, I could probably answer this for AJ's you. AJ's got perspective, <laughs> I, I would yell to AJ about it every night, so please do. 
there are those guests that are worth it and there are those guests that are not there are guests that believe they bought us with the purchase of the ticket and unfortunately she met a lot of them he was completely accurate when he said that i was the target this season yeah i was about to quit the fourth week because every single weekend for the first four weeks there was some kind of harassment or some kind of i got touched i got there was literally a night where I got spat on mm -hmm. um, down my corset. Like mm -hmm. someone was someone was on the gunshot porch and I was following along the line because there was a really big crowd and someone leaned over the porch and spat right down my chest. And it, there were nights where it was just like, you feel like a show pony. Like mm -hmm. it, there were nights where I was just like, this is humiliating, man. Like I, I want to put on a sweater and go home, mm -hmm. you know? So, um, that was probably the worst is, you know, I was one of the smallest girls on Ghost Town and one of the most revealed and I was like, fuck this. But one of the best was when I c finally said, fuck this and started pushing and people would look at me being so tiny and just be like, oh, it's a girl. You know, people yeah. think that the girls are the safe ones. They're like, oh, everyone's, you know, I'm, I'm getting scared. I'm whatever. Right now, they're not. No. They <laughs> Fall like, security. <laughs> yeah, literally. And that's what they told me. They were like, when I first got Ghost Town, they were like, you have to be one of the most aggressive out there. And that's why I really started pushing it. Um, and so people would be like, oh, yeah, you know, I'm getting scared by the barber. I'm going to come. The saloon girls are over here. Let's just go fucking sit over here. You just you fool! You fool! You idiot! You fell for one of the uh, oldest, oldest blunders. Literally. So probably one of the best was that I ended up using that shittiness of people to my advantage, yeah. and completely flipping the script on them. And it, I I started you know leaving at the end of the night feeling proud of myself, better more than like oh I only got. Like I talked about earlier. One today, like once today, yeah. you know, like. Like she started off rocky. It was really, really bad. But at one awful. point, she didn't like, she didn't complain about it. She didn't like say, this isn't fair, because like I mentioned in the last ones, like if you're gonna be dumb, you gotta be tough. Yeah. Mm. Um, and she, I think she took that and said, fuck this, I'm gonna step it up. I'm gonna change this. I'm gonna change that. I'm gonna figure this out, and I'm not gonna let this fucking like bug me. I'm gonna kill that fucking fan. And she fucking did. I she did. murdered that fucking did. fan. Broke it. Broke it. How well, did you keep your composure, though, when, like, in those difficult situations? Biting your tongue? Uh, Biting getting, your cheek. getting worse? Getting more aggressive? If someone mm. would fuck with me, I would take a water break and calm down and kind of rant a little bit to Allie, my running partner, or I would turn around and the next person would get it even worse to the point where... Water breaks, he comes out like fucking Triple H spits the water and he goes back in. <laughs> oh, there was, there was a night where I did that. There was a night where I had Put your drool. Head in the back. Time to play. <laughs> I had a bunch of like drool and dye still in my mouth. And when you drink the water, like the dye comes off your teeth. So I was like, I'm gonna fucking try this. And so I had the water in my mouth and we came out of the candy shop. Uh, there's a little secret break room back there mm -hmm. and yeah. so we came out of there and we're in the candy shop and I stood in the light of the candy shop and I was just watching people and some guy started coming up to me like hey girl whatever and I just like <laughs> let it draw out of my mouth and he went yo what the fuck is that oh, what the the shit? <laughs> <laughs> started leaving all right I'm out of here yeah uh, yeah so I mean like it's fuck dude um one of the things I was a little disappointed about this year uh -oh. was Sorry. that since we knew everybody it's no one would scare us. I didn't know you guys. Yeah. No, I didn't. Mm -mm. Other than that one interaction we had, but I mean that was Yeah. But that was just something different. But yeah. I, I, I was really hoping that since you knew us that it would it would step it up and I'm hoping for next year. There and I'm is, not pissed yeah. off about it. It's just no, I know. I'm, I'm not mad. I'm just, just bitter. I just was just like, oh, every that time actually, I'm, scared, I'm just walking through, going to the bathroom, and yeah. walking back. You know, just like mm -hmm. every time I saw you guys, I mean, at least to my knowledge, it was at the bench, and like I would go in and like, oh hey, it's, it's it's you guys, and like I would, I did my best to change it this year. Actually, I had two friends of mine um, come up to me and mention that like, why don't my friends scare me? I'm like. Fuck it. Okay, I'm, I'm going to try this. And I actually, I got them, and I grossed them out every night I saw them because they asked for it, so I gave it to them. But, um, <laughs> like, <laughs> it it was just, I, I fall back into that, like, oh, you're a homie. Yeah. You know, like, what's up? What's going on, dude? Because in my head, I'm like, I don't, like, I don't have to scare you. 
Like, maybe I can't even scare you because you know who I am. Like, you know under this. Okay, <laughs> so next year, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do... I'm gonna, I Every have a, night that you see me. I have a title to defend. If you go for one attempt, like, I will applaud you. All right, I will. I already applaud you as it is. Thanks. You don't. Thanks. You don't have to scare me. You're just showing up. I'm probably. definitely gonna scare you. <laughs> I'm gonna go out of my way. I need, like, I need everyone to wear like a smart watch or something so I can just pay this guy to sleep. Get the fuck out right fucking now. Um, yeah. Make that work. Yeah. Another uh, another thing that we love this year too is how many pictures we got with everyone. Yeah. Yeah. Which is really, really cool. I missed that one. I mean, next year. Here's the thing: is that I was gonna say that too. Is Ooh. I didn't know you guys. She didn't know, uh, no, and I'll, and I'll give her this. Yeah. She didn't know us outside of that one altercation, or, you know, in our <laughs> altercation. Oh, altercation. When we were yeah. fighting, we were yeah. fighting, we were getting an argument. She's in the middle of and, uh, <laughs> It was an altercation that happened with another scare actor. Um, no, but um, it, it was the one interaction we had with her, and it was very brief and very quick, mm. and then they went out and did their thing. She really didn't, like, really start, like, talking to us, and then, like, we started doing these, and then I'd get, like, I got, like, a really nice message from her that she's, like, that like oh you know this is awesome that you guys are doing i this. was watching the merrick podcast and yeah. i sent y'all a quick little message so i was like this is so fucking cool <laughs> and, then, and then what had happened was i like you know i was like oh thank you so much it means a lot you know and um then what had happened was you know what we announced that we we're gonna what happened was what uh, happened was <laughs> uh we announced that we we're gonna start doing this yearly mm -hmm. every month in november since it's doing so well that mm -hmm. we want to get either our friends back yeah on thank you guys who are watching definitely if you guys if it wasn't for you guys i mean i, I didn't this was either a hit or miss but that, that's how <laughs> ideas work for us we we will plan ideas and they will be failures and then this was an idea we're just like fuck it let's do it and <laughs> we're like we get 50 views yeah. and we're like yeah someone yeah. watched our video we get a we get a view and we're just like oh my god it's yeah. um but this has been such a success and we love hearing everyone's stories we love learning about the characters and we love just meeting new people and it goes into next season where it's like now that we know these people, we can specifically like pay attention to these people because mm -hmm. it's going to be one of those things where it's yeah. like, oh shit, now that we know them, it's going to be cooler because you know it's like one of our biggest things on our Instagram this year was we made compilations of everything. Yeah, that was, was like cool. our well, that was like our biggest thing. And it got to a point where I was just like, oh, fuck, I another song compilation. Here we go. <laughs> um, oh, I heard this song. This song will go. Oh, this song goes good with Ghost Town. Let's do it. <laughs> um, but no, I mean, it was one of our things. And I felt bad because I had more footage of other people that we knew going into the event mm. rather than, you know, a lot of more people. And now that I'm meeting more people next year, it's going to be fun to just focus one night of, oh, shit, maybe I'll just give it a Man, and then we're gonna have to be on Instagram being like, Oh, we're gonna be hunting for this person tonight, this person yeah. tonight, this person okay. tonight. <laughs> we're like, Oh god, who do we forget? That's why and that's why my thing this year too was like I'm not the type of guy who will go up to someone and just throw a camera in your face. Like that's disrespectful. That's appreciated. Yeah, that is Thank very you. appreciated. And it's it's <laughs> that and it's overstepping boundaries as to your job. You know, it's like yeah. you guys are out there to do a job. Were you sorry, not just Sorry, not, not to stop you, but like, were you there that night where, because you know, usually we have like Cornish and mm -hmm. freaking Iris and all these other like photographers, because mm -hmm. there's a lot of people that took photos of us, like yeah. on the sidelines in, in fog, you know, out of the way, not really just, you know, shooting from afar. One night I was running with, with Ruth and there were just these two dudes that kept circling Circling. Us. Yeah. Like hologram? I think so. It's hologram. It's hologram? I, I got a shit ton of photos him. from hologram. Like, he got really good photos of me, but yeah. bro, like, it was kind of like, not, I didn't hate it, but it was, it was throwing me off a bit. Yeah. Because I'm like, I need to move this way, but I need to make sure I'm not running into you. Yeah. Um, you know? <laughs> it's intimidating almost, because when you see a camera, for me at least, when you see a camera post in front of you, it's like, fuck, I better get some good shit right now, because, like, it's yeah. it's nerve-wracking. Yeah. For me at least, really maybe cool it was just me. Photos was of me. Like, One fact like, about him, the guy lives in Vegas. Yeah. We drive out every weekend to come Shit. to the haunt. Yeah. 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 We drive out. Every weekend just to come to the haunt. I would he, message him every he, once in a while. I, would, I yeah. sat and talked to him all of one night. And I was like, dude, I follow your page. I was like, you take really good fucking pictures. He does. And I was like, we want to know if we can collab with you when we do Scare And we did, I think, for your thumbnail. Yeah, because he, he, yeah. he actually has my favorite photo from the whole season. Same. Yeah. My, the photo with, of me in the green light that I sent to you is from Hologram. So I think the one definitely I'll, I'll let him know that if we can, you know, yeah. this will be using. You take good stuff. Just like let us know. Like don't let us know when. Just watch 
where well, we're going. I, yeah. <laughs> that, I think with, with him, too, it's like this was his first year actually doing. Like, he, he loves yeah. photography. I talked to him. He has a passion for it, and he's really good at it. Yeah. So and he, I think he just launched his, his uh, page this year. Yeah, he did. Because there wasn't a lot new. of pictures on there. Yeah. There was only, like, a couple of ghost town people. Like, yeah. Like, and a lot he, of, yeah. yeah. Took really good stuff. Um, and, yeah, and I think uh, what, when I was talking to him, his thing was, like, yeah, man, I live out in Vegas, and there's, like, no good haunts out there. Like, all Frank the, Dome. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, all the good haunts. Was that a like, circus or what? Oh, yeah, I think so. Because, <laughs> <laughs> like, all the good haunts are here in SoCal, and it's like, I, you know, I, I wish I could move out here, but it's just a money thing. And, yeah. And I was like, I mean, yeah, shit, man. it's a money thing. You're traveling, what, four or five hours every weekend? Yeah. But I guess if he had homies to, like, chill with, you know. Everything. That's true. I mean, that saves him a couple Just crash at the path for the yeah. weekend? Yeah. yeah. I mean, the only thing he's got to worry about at that point is just gas and food. Yeah, yeah that's just about to say a couple things of gas, rent. You know, yeah, like. that's it. Um, but so yeah, please keep coming, man. Like, yeah. You do really good stuff if you're yeah. watching this. Please. Just stay please? Juice's way. But just like, run if I just please, I don't want to hit you. It was just, that's it was out of the norm. Yeah. It was I just think, out of the That's another thing I'm going to start doing next year is I'm going to communicate with a lot of the people who I want to focus and get footage on. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm going to be like, I'm going to be around you guys. So, like, you see me. Yeah, cool it's cool. Like, my biggest thing is like last year, a lot of the times I would hate to go up to the monster and be like, hey, um, can I feel me doing a slide? Like, I, I want to let people know ahead of time, like, yeah. hey, I want to get a lot of sliding footage. I want to yeah. get a lot of... So it's like, I know for next year to do... I mean, this yeah. year, like I said, we were just meeting people. Yeah. So it was like, it was going to be an awkward thing going up to them. Like, hey, can you do it? Can you, can, you can you give me with those sparks real quick? Can the sparks? Can you do fire truths. Show me the fire truths. Hey, homie. Where the Modelo's at? <laughs> <laughs> but no, that's that's one thing that uh, it's just we know our boundaries. So that's why a lot of the times we would, if you look at a lot of our footage, it's off to the yeah. side. Yeah. Well, like, it's not yeah. necessarily knowing the boundaries. It's just being mindful that we can go any direction. That's what I, and that's what I know. Yeah. yeah. I would try to pick the areas where it was a seating area mm -hmm. the most of the time because, or if it was an area where I knew, yeah. like, the character is going to be, like, right there hiding. I'll yeah. be at this corner where they don't go, and I'll just stay, stay right yeah. there. Yeah, because I, I, I get, like, like, Honogram. They, like I said, got a, a lot of good footage of a lot of us because of their way of doing it. It's just, like, I don't want, like, I'm not going to be able, I'm, I'm not going to break character. Mm -hmm. I'm going to keep going. But that's something you need to understand and know. Like, I can go this way, you need to stay on your toes, too. Because yeah. I can go that way, too, you know? But, like... We're kind of hired to be manic. Yeah, we're and hired to be manic yeah. and, like, focus on a, a, a show. Yeah. Um, and so with that, please don't stop what you're doing. Just be mindful that, like, we have everywhere we can go just so pick your, kind of pick your spot pick your you spot know. or just keep up yeah think of you know? everybody as hostile <laughs> you're all gonna just fucking go <laughs> <laughs> um, i didn't even know you guys fucking did that oh it's so good i didn't know it till hostile or no yeah hot and hostile i got set to it one night and i'm like what the fuck is that are they making fun of them and then <laughs> and then hostile finally or yeah, we have one interview we told us he yeah. told us the story i'm like what's the whole idea behind that he's like oh man i'm <laughs> Or I think maybe Seth may have told her. Maybe you actually told us actually. I I don't remember you anything. It was somebody. Told, yeah, somebody told informed it, us. And then I asked everyone else that was involved with it. I was like, is this true? Oh. You guys did this? And it just became a thing. Um. All right. So. I don't know where to go from here. Wait, it's just, it just it was just a dead stop. Yeah. No. I just had a brain fart. And I, was oh, like, I, don't know oh, I know, like all the tangents. Oh, I mean, we got, yeah. Let's see. I what have I not asked? What have I asked? Chris, if we get sick. Again. Oh, you said you had some questions. Yeah, right? I got yeah, actually. A, just, some I got Instagram a butt question. ton. You're the uh, the only other person here other than a hostel. You were another person who actually put a question. We appreciate. It. I mean, I was just like, I was like, I want to see what people ask. I mean, like a lot of people asked. Uh, a good amount of people, like, you know, fellow scare actors and everything, yeah. they want to hear your yeah. perspective, so I got a lot of questions, but um, my my mom and my little brother were even asking me questions this morning, they were like, you got me on podcasts? And I was like, yeah, and they were like, what do you want to talk about? And I was like, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> so they were like, asking me, my little brother. We, we announced her yesterday, and she put on her Instagram, and I was like, surprise! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> I was like, express me too, tomorrow! I was like, but it was just a lot of fun to be able to like be like I'm gonna do a thing. No, yeah, she know? hit me up on uh, was it yesterday, right? Yesterday. Yeah, yeah. yesterday, and I was at work. And I was like, let me know if because you posted for like yearly, and I was like, yeah. yo, let me know if next season you want any gross stories, and you were like, we still have dates open. Yeah, I and still, I was I like, still whoa, have spots open if you want to come yeah. this season. So I if mean, you're a scare actor watching and you want to be on the podcast, send us a message, email us. 
Follow us uh, on five people hit us up yesterday. Oh, uh, so, so yeah. actually hit us up yesterday. Allie did? Nice. Good. Or Allie. Oh my God. God. And, uh, <laughs> and, uh, um, I, you know, I really got to say this, and something we haven't mentioned. I really admire the camaraderie behind the scenes. Because, like, yeah. every time we bring someone on, they're just shot down at other people. I'm like, it's, I have no idea who this yeah. person is, but y'all know each other, yeah. and y'all have a mutual respect. Well, what you guys do? You, like, you guys, <laughs> it's, you know, it's such a, a family. It's, it, yeah, that's the thing. It's such a very foreign concept like i've okay <laughs> there's a gray area haunt should never be taken seriously yeah but haunt should also be taken seriously yeah uh because a lot of these people we run with not just for these seven years these seven weeks seven years seven years not for just like these six to seven weeks out of the, out of the year but yearly and we've all like grown up with each other we've all experienced tragedies with each other we've all experienced happy times with each other mm -hmm. um i've experienced like really really bad times during the run and there's a handful of people that i know will have my back mm -hmm. you know like yeah. both backstage and out there yeah. and when we're out there and it's like someone's trying to grab jen yeah some dude i'm just like shit like it's my responsibility to go and make that's sure how, cool. and that's, what, that's what seth brought up too is like yeah. he, he thought he saw someone grab allison's ass one night and he was just like he got all like, yeah dude did she just did he just grab you like he, yeah he got really like yeah real big brother real quick you know what i mean it's rough out there yeah. like it's there's like on busy nights it gets so packed that you can get circled and it really yeah. it really is a family where everyone has your back and there were nights where you know someone would hear that you know i i had an interaction or something happened to me Derp. and Derp. You, and uh people backstage you know i'd be like on break and just kind of over it already whatever but people would come up to me like hey how you doing are you yeah. all right you know i heard that this happened are you good and you know check up on you and the first uh weekend that that happened i literally like i almost cried because it's it's a family mm -hmm. it, you you don't expect that that kind of love yeah. and it, it's really there and those are the people that keep you coming back you know because it Definitely. that that month and a half it's yeah it's a month and a half but the bonds you make there are ridiculous yeah. You know, sure. no, yeah, we see it even when you guys are in character, like the interactions are there. And by the way, I'm sorry we laughed at the seven thing. We we thought of a funny story that um Oh no. Yeah, <laughs> uh, Ruth actually one one night uh we asked her how old she was. She's like, I'm this many. <laughs> She's so cute. <laughs> She's so cute. We were, we're, we were watching footage of because we made a compilation for them and we were watching just all the footage that we got of them and then Sandy looks over and he goes, We can't help but just want to hug that little girl. I want to just like throw her on my back like, and go on adventures. Her, but at the same time, you're like oh, <laughs> terrified. Yeah. yeah. Questions? Go for it. Um, you go ahead and read these because I've been oh. seeing them pop up all day, and it's not fair for me to read them. Okay. All right, Before we read the questions, let's stop the camera. No. I know. Mm -hmm. I wish I didn't. I wish I could just keep going. Where are no, we at anyway? I'll check the tag oh, we're at 14 minutes. We got another five minutes. We're good. Go for it. Right. Wait, we gotta gotta check real quick. Gotta check. I'm gotta sorry. make sure everything's good. I'm make sure sorry. Check. She's hiding all the private stuff real quick. I'm hot. She's Don't deleting her me. browser. <laughs> I, fits, I had to delete my browser. My bottle hit away. I saw it. No, you didn't. I saw it. I saw it. I saw it. I saw it. Um, I think Daredevil actually asked. Yeah, he asked earlier. That same. The baby Yoda. Watch the Mandalorian. I did. Yeah, we call, we call baby, we call, we call baby yoga. Laura. <laughs> I know, I know, do we ask that? Uh, I'm gonna skip that one. I got a couple about that. We, I got a couple inappropriate questions. Well, well, we're, we're judging that's all of camera. you. We're dirty. All right, sure. I'm thinking that's what Put it's Put them on the spot right now, S-C-H-E-R. Share. No, uh, she, they asked, uh, what was, share? Share, she. Share. Like, you believe in if I can turn back time, share? <laughs> Sick. All right. So, Cher yes. uh, asks, what was your most memorable night? Oh. Oh. Um, God. Probably, uh, how many times do I have to say it? Probably the night where, you know, Atonement got the She-Wolf, man. Oh, that was, that really? was, that was such a moment where I was, the whole season I was, that was the last night. Honored, was the last night. yeah, so, yeah. It was the very last night. There, the whole season, I was very honored to be on Ghost Town and just to be a part of these people that I've, I'd been a fan of and mm -hmm. that inspired me for so long. Because you're always a guest before you're yeah. a monster. You know what I mean? So I've been watching these people for so long, um, and I was honored to just be working with them. But to, for her to come up to me and be like, 
I want you to do this. For her to come up to us and be like, you guys are going to be the ones that bring me yeah. to my death. I told you, man. I texted her. She's really looking forward to this episode. It was such, it was such an honor to be a part of right and now. to be included in Hi, Jackie. I love you. It was... I couldn't... I felt so lucky to be included in something like that. Likewise. And she is such... She's become such an iconic character. And she... She's amazing. I so to be able to be included was... I don't think we've thanked them yet on the podcast for this, but they're the reasons why we were doing this. Oh, my God. Shout out yeah. to Factor Compass. They, yeah. We interviewed Jackie early on in the season of her role in Special Ops, and then mm. when we decided we wanted to do this, they were the first three names that came up. Her, uh, her mm. Bree, and um, Ruth, Ruth. Yep. were the first three that came up. And when they're then, some of the most supportive, kind people you're ever going to meet. They are, they are yeah. such down-to-earth people, yeah. Yeah. and um, we've been a fan of theirs for a while. They are fans of us, and they we support them. They support us, and it's just been a journey. <laughs> oh, ew! Let's skip that question. Yeah. I want to. I want you to just say yeah. all all the all the inappropriate one name. Just well, there's like, one on from black, someone like. that <laughs> yeah that has been excommunicated. Yeah. Ex for a specific reason, I'm not gonna go into it. But they uh, were kind of almost mentioned earlier, but they were a complete dick this season. Don't even worry about um, it. <laughs> but checkers dot clown oh, asks, baby. Uh, favorite backstage moment I know why she's asking this because we were talking about it that I don't know if you were there what happened there there was a running little joke that um you know if I ever got harassed or whatever I was like I'm, I'm done with this character I'm mm -hmm. done and so I would like look at my friends and be like trade me fucking costumes one night man and one oh. day we were getting ready I was already in full makeup, we were getting ready, and um, I would save my, you know, that, the corset and the skirt and the bloomers, it's a lot of layers, and so yeah. um, it would become kind of restricting to breathe, so I would wait until the last minute to put it on, which means it was free game for anyone yeah. who wanted to play with it, and <laughs> one night, um, <laughs> one of one of our scare actors, one of our bandits, um, his name, his character name is Twitch, but Joe, he was like, Jen, let's trade costumes tonight, man. So he puts on, I have photos of this, he puts on my skirt and my corset and he's playing with my fan. And then it got passed over to a spider, Sp I put on spider's dress and she was playing in the saloon girl outfit. And my, I get all my stuff back and all of a sudden my corset's missing. Oh. And I was like, yo, where the fuck is my corset? This thing is bright red, bejeweled. I was like, where the fuck is this thing? And I'm like looking around or whatever. And all of a sudden I see Lucio. <laughs> And Lucio has oh, the thing. Man. This thing is tiny. Yeah. And he has it unzipped, barely over his shoulders, walking around with it. Walking around with it like this. <laughs> and we're all fucking dying laughing because we couldn't catch him. We couldn't get him. He's just like strutting around in this shit until we're all sitting on our bench, like just watching it happen. And Caleb, who's another monster, yeah. is sitting there and he's on his phone and Lucio's okay, standing Caleb. there. Lucio's oh, standing there. Man number two right there. Yeah. <sighs> The double, the double, the double. But he's standing there, and Lucy is looking at him, just waiting for his response, <laughs> just waiting. And Caleb's not looking for a good thirty seconds, and Lucy just goes, "Look at my tits, bitch," <laughs> <laughs> and just killed, just killed the fuck out of me. Nice. And then Caleb looks and he goes, "Give me that shit." And then Caleb, it, it ended with Caleb wearing his shirt and vest, my corset, the bird's cape, and holding death's jacket. Just walking around like, <laughs> you guys, like, so, uh, Luc Lucio telling people to look at his tits was my gold. favorite backstage that's moment. Gold. Monsters. Uh, what was the question again? I'm sorry. Me? No. Most influential. Oh, you most, for that one. most influential monsters. So I'm it's sitting right next to it. She asked you to be on the podcast, I would, yeah. Well, yeah. Boom. Hello. Go You're on. the first Hello? monster, actually, by the way, to be on the, on the podcast twice. Hey. <laughs> you beat with Seal to it. Oh! So, <laughs> <laughs> He's got one coming up with, uh, is it, we, did we get, was it Death? I have no idea who we got. Oh, you guys got Mike! Hell yeah! I'm going to you guys are gonna hear some shit. I don't know. Sure. I don't know who we got. We'll you tell me. Excited. You do the scheduling. I just show I up. The scheduling. I just show Hot up man. and. Um, I, for I, for, I forget my scheduling half the time. You guys I, have to, I feel like how many times a day do where the fuck's my calendar at? <laughs> what do we got today? <laughs> Where's my calendar? By the way? Um, I don't know. It's a great oh, question. Right you clean. You clean your room. I don't know. <laughs> this bad boy. Actual calendar. We got it work for free. <laughs> I was like, oh, this looks going to be coming handy. 
And okay, it has. Thank you. Thank you. Go for the next question. So we're have. Most most influential monsters. So okay, mm. most influential as in like um, what in. I'll do two little categories. So like most influential is like what inspired me and made me be like, holy shit, I want to do that. Sure. Yeah. Um, I definitely, I definitely told you can ask him. Uh, Glow, Naomi, and uh, Christine Snooky, uh, the bride Lucy Bops, and bro. and Cordelia, they. Bangers. The strongest women on Ghost Town. Absolutely. The strongest women on Ghost Town, but also the kindest and sweetest souls that you will ever meet. And they were they were some of the ones I, I told them straight to their face um, at the very end of the season. Thank you so much for always being there because their kind words and their encouragement is what helped me Stop. not quit this season. They yeah. they were so encouraging, because um, you know everyone can tell you you know that oh, you did a good job whatever but to hear it from the people that you watched as yeah. a fan first and were encouraged like encouraging me through a hard time was on a new level and um they were really inspirational in that sense but the sense of every single night motivation inspirational and keeping me going out there and doing it was the little mini you know saloon squad that we made we started calling oh, yeah. ourselves like the saloon <laughs> squad and that was you know you're in it aj but also I'm in there. <laughs> you're in there you know i was in there saloon squad, squad. The saloons yeah, yeah. Saloon yeah. Squad. yeah. Saloon squad. but it was you know that's all i've ever fucking wanted <laughs> you can buy the now i can retire monster of the year saloon <laughs> squad right, there you go that's where it's at yep. <laughs> so our little saloon squad was like you know it was my running partner it was ali it was kyler it was melissa sam and oh my god it was my my family, mm. Tara the Spider, Thrash, you know, you make a family there that keeps motivating you to do it, and that's the most inspirational thing to me is knowing that, you know, I'm cared about and I'm gonna fucking do this shit with these people that care about me. That's the most inspirational thing to me is You're you know it about, keeps that's you moving. Why we you on to further that care. By the way, I figured out who the guy we're gonna have. It's Aaron Frank. Oh, oh, that's oh cool. Dope. Yeah. Hell yeah. The yeah, from. Yeah. The from it. From. The the opossum? Yeah. From the opossum. Right on. Sick. Yeah. Uh, do you guys want to go with more questions? Or do you guys... Keep yeah, yeah, keep going. From, by the way, longest podcast. Really? Season. Oh, shit. Wait, did he beat Lucio? Nice. I beat Lucio. We're at two hours. Yeah. We're at two hours? Fucker. <laughs> Sorry, Mom. It's okay. My mom's going to listen through all this. Hey. Um, Hello. Oh, I like this one. Sinatra, uh, one of the pig twins. Yes. Uh, shout Great out to Sinatra. Hi, Great Sinatra. man. I didn't make you drop anything. <laughs> uh, he asks, any non-haunt influences on your character? Ooh. So, yes and no. Because okay. initially, um, I kind of had... I, I went with the route of not looking at anything haunt or horror related for the saloon girl initially because I feel like uh, a lot of women in horror aren't... Uh, well represented and the ones that are really well represented weren't the ones that um, yeah. I was looking to put I'm my single nice. for you know um, I watch a lot of like you know Rob Zombie movies and stuff like that and as much as I love Sherry Moon she's very much of a Harley Quinn type character yeah and that's not what I was taking uh, I get that. Tootsie for did you watch Three from Hell? Hell yeah I did! Nice! Hell yeah I did! Three from Hell, free to free. Hell yeah, bro. So you know I was like fuck you know the women that I admire in horror are not what I was going for. So mm. I actually ended up looking a lot towards um, my two initial inspirations for a saloon girl was actually Meg from Hercules. And, oh! And, Hercules. Yeah, and Eris from the animated Sinbad. Nice. The Goddess oh, of shit. Chaos. That's pretty fucking cool. Thank you. Because, yeah, I, yeah. because you know, those, I, I was thinking, I was like, you know, saloon girl, I'm not hyper feminine. I was like, what's something that's literally yeah. alluring and, you know, supposed to be feminine? And those yeah. were the women that I loved as a kid. So I watched that. But um, my character, I realized towards like the second or third week, um, I really dove into really a Sarah Sanderson type of character. She okay. turned into more of an airhead and she turned into more of the ditzy, you know, bounce around and be an idiot but still eats bugs and tries to kill children type <laughs> Winnie. of thing. Winnie! Oh, Winnie! I smell children. That's fucking punk rock. That's I pretty, pretty smell cool. a child. Thank you. Thank you. Rock. So a lot, most of my inspiration was very non-haunt related just because, you know, um, That's why we have the, the sexy women in horror get murdered first, you know what I mean? That's so, true. like, <laughs> there wasn't unless a lot to choose from. Unless you're Laurie Strode. Strode. Unless you're Laurie, Laurie Strode. Strode. Lives until the end. Yeah, fuck yeah, Absolutely. She does. She's gonna kill Michael again and again. Oh, that series needs to take a nap. Someone 
no, named no. XXXX, no, sorry, 666X, Ty. Ty. The night of the beast. Favorite, Ty. favorite haunt shenanigan you did in front of a guest? When Ty laid an egg in the middle of the alley. I'm not sure if she's trying to get you in trouble or she's trying to get you to... To say that specific thing. I moment. already did because that was my favorite yeah, well, moment. That one, that was I that loved one. it. She Shout loved it. I hope I imitated her scream well. By the way, sick ass username. Yeah. Numbers there you go. I love her. Uh, I think how do you get your character was already. <laughs> yeah, that one was covered. You guys are shenanigans right now on the fucking podcast. Okay. My fucking clip came out of my chair and I like fell back. <laughs> 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 Yeah. All right, uh, Jackie asks top five Jackie. moments from the season. Oh my god! Um, and I think that's that's it. Jackie coming in with the questions. Dude, Jackie, fuck. Um, I this. Thank you. That's from Monster Posse. Oh, oh yeah. Posse. Yeah. Um, juice one, man. Top. Top five season. Top five moments. Top, of the top five seasons. Um, top five moments of the season. Killing a she wolf. Um, I'm sorry, that's gonna go number one, and that sucks because it's my friend, so like I'm murdering her, but like she's stoked you know. about it too, though. She, like, that's what I like to think. It was I hope. So <laughs> Do you, let she us know if you like getting murdered, Jackie. Like, sorry, I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> sorry, I'm gonna kill her tonight. Yeah. Okay, she goes, Oh, tomorrow's your last day, I'm gonna kill you. I was like, Okay, cool beans, cool beans. Sick. Um, almost every time that I got to drool on Kenzie, um, <laughs> I'm like, I, ironically, what we were talking about earlier is that. If I do know you at Haunt, I'm gonna go after you more. And so the reason why I didn't get you guys is because, mm. you know, like, I didn't know you guys. So I was just like, yeah, quick moment, keep going. At Kenzie, I drooled on her almost every single night. Uh, not on, but very close to, to the point where she was very upset. <laughs> and it was just just I a think, good moment all around. Yeah. I, I love watching one. her uh, see how she would interact with Hostel every night, and she would get scared. She'd yeah. terrified. She didn't like Hostel. Terrified. She loves a draw. She loves a draw. Yeah, she but, is, yeah. She doesn't like, like him in person. Artist wise, I would gross her Amazing. out. I would. I would get her friends that she was with, but I would. I I know I couldn't scare her, but I knew I could get her to almost puke. Yep. And so I just yep. kept doing it. Just keep doing it. I'm like, come on. Keep doing it. Come on, time. <laughs> Give but me the glory. Dude, it's like when they ask about what your favorite moments are, you like yeah, blank you just, because they're all good. Did you guys have any moments where uh, you guys have customers or guests puke in front of you? Not this season. I've had so many beers drop because of the things I've done to people. Um, that was pretty fun. I did have, back in like 2009, um, it was me and a friend of mine, Frankie. We were in quarantine. Mm -hmm. Um, and we were zombies and it was the first initial hallway and we're going down and we see this guy He's just swaying. He's obviously not on this planet anymore <laughs> And he we, we go and we scare him. He's like guys stop. I'm gonna throw up <laughs> And so my friend Frank and I look at each other and we look back at him. We're like <clears throat> And we just kept going and going and going until he puked We shut the maze down for 15 minutes because they had to call someone in to clean it up it and so can. everyone was on like pork sandwich on a dirty ass <laughs> 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 all right so in, in closing we'd like to ask a, f a few questions here uh these are some more of our staples of the podcast do we have uh, to close i mean i'm having so much fun i know i, I good time. yeah but i'm sure that viewer today. is like dang this is that time already we should be watching a two and a half hour movie a video hi mom her mom yeah <laughs> that's true Jackie. all right Jackie. Jackie. Uh, Jackie. People Jackie. that just, we have people that put it on when they're at work or something, you know, it'll make the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. it's a podcast. Exactly. You sit and listen. Kenzie's yeah. like drawing in the background, you know? Yeah. Like, Be absolutely. honest. Like, just, Kenzie, just, if you're listening, you can see you. She, oh. Ooh. I got dark real quick. <laughs> I know no, who you she are. She messaged me like, oh my God, I've gotten so many ideas to draw now. And mm -hmm. it's like, it actually, it, it come to show, she just drew a, a hostel piece with him in the padded room on the hostel. Yeah. Yeah. That was, yeah. Really that was cool. like, he talked about having that ex like in his backstory like that was one of the things yeah Jackie. we're in a little group chat and she's like she'll message me she'll be, like message us and she'll be like holy shit guys like did like she send you guys the uh storyboard for the murder of she wolf because jackie sent it to me it's like it's basically just a comic and it's it's me cutting open oh, she wolf's yeah. throat yeah and it's like i saw a couple words it was like really close up so i didn't see the whole thing but like fuck that's cool i yeah. know she's uh, i know jackie put up that video because I gave it to her and then I put it up. So she's probably been watching that on that, like a loop. That just video kind of, yeah. is so like, at, like I was there. Was cool, I yeah. was in it and I still watch that video and I'm like, Jesus Christ. I can't hear a single fucking thing shit. I'm saying. No, you can't. No. <laughs> you can't. Yeah, that, I can hear when you bring fault. out like, I, I, I can always hear like when you say like, and I brought my friend 
Yeah. Her name is Atonia. Yeah. And I, I can hear that. That was the moment where I was watching it and I was like, Hey, we should put that on the shirt. Huh? I brought my friend. Her name was Atonement. Set her shirt. We have a whole uh, shirt idea that we're gonna do. Oh, like the bands? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I told you about the the Hell right. Breaks Loose tour, right? Yep. So this season we made a shirt. It was called the Hell Breaks Loose tour. That's what we called our. Because I told you we oh, went everywhere. Shit, yeah. So that's what it's we called it. I, I go to, like like I said, I'm a concert junkie. I go to a bunch of concerts, and I always wanted a concert shirt. I never had my size though. Right. So I made I made my own. It was it was called on the front. It said All Hell Breaks Loose Tour 2019. In the back, it had every date. There was a lot of added ones, so yeah. I mean, it's not completely accurate now. But in the back, it had pretty much all the dates of all the haunts we hit. That's oh cool. God. Yeah. That's really rad. I yeah. love that. And now we're gonna make another shirt that's gonna be All Hell Breaks Loose Tour 2019 set list. And it's all of our favorite quotes that we've heard. Oh my god! We have like twenty quotes. Oh so my far. god! We're also gonna we're working on a character appreciation month T-shirt with all the guests that we had this. Oh what? Season. Oh my god! So if you guys are interested in that? Yeah, I'll please buy that. Hell yeah. yeah! I'll let you guys know when uh, we have it. It's probably gonna be at the end of the month when I get paid when I actually have money so I can buy myself one too. So yeah, for sure. Um, uh, yeah, we're I, I that's actually first announced right now. I mean I. I've been working. Oh on shit! That. Yeah, <laughs> no, I've been working on that for surprise. I yeah. just started working on it and I've only had put like three names on it so far um but it's gonna it's in the works and it's we got a couple more there you go so definitely um but back to this um unfortunate closing question <laughs> <laughs> sammy wants to wrap this shit up <laughs> <laughs> well you know it's my job to keep us on track yeah it's fine <laughs> Uh, it's fine, Sammy. You don't like fun. It's, it's, it's fine. Sammy. I don't like fun. <laughs> <laughs> Just fun. Hundred percent serious. It's fine. It's okay, Sammy. All right. So I'm um, one tonight's order. It's <laughs> not me. <laughs> you can win this time. Proceed. Uh, proceed with uh, Judas. We've already asked you this yes, one. This is all Jen. Um, so Jen, this is going to be all for you. Um, okay. What would your advice be for someone that would like to be a scare actor one day or be a non-sponsor one day? Um. 100% I mean I can say is you gotta have some thick skin I, th I thought I did I mm -hmm. thought I had some pretty thick skin until you get out there and you experience it and you sometimes see the worst people can do out there and so um get some thick skin and you know realize that you know it's gonna be okay you just gotta power through and you know realize that the people that are there are the people that are going to be your coworkers and your friends are there to support you through it all yeah. because it's really easy to forget that you have that support system. Um, so when you're going into it, remember that you're going to have that support system. But also, you know, take the leap and do it. I'm the kind of person where if, if I overthink and if I, you know, think about it too much, I'll back out of something. And that's why I initially didn't even show up to auditions this year. And when I finally did, when they told me, can you come in for an audition tomorrow at 10 a.m.? there was no choice. It was do or die in that moment. There was no, you know, thinking it over. And it was one of those things where I just had to kind of throw myself into it, say yes, and, you know, here's where I got. So, um, you know, those moments of hesitation, just, just grab onto it and run with it. But also, you know, have fun with it. Because at the very end of the day, like, you take haunt seriously and it's a it's a job and it's it's cool and you get to, you know, make these characters and be super badass, but there are so many fun moments behind the scenes that you live for. So, you know, live for those, live through them, experience them, and um, be excited for them. And just fucking take the first step and submit your resume and do the audition and whatever you get, run with it and make the best of it. Honestly. I've heard so many good uh, responses to yeah. that question this season. Like, it's I like, think everyone just provides a different answer. Everyone, just so yeah, great. I've heard so many different answers this season. Like, if we can just do a compilation of all that and just release that as a video, like, I, 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 think yeah, I'm, yeah. I think I'm definitely gonna because it's like one of those things where people want to know how they get into this industry, and so many great characters have came on and given us this advice to hear. And yeah, you know, it's gonna be cool to see people, hopefully, Frankenstein off different people's ideas of how they get in. Yeah. So. Yeah. Um, I mean, because you get to see them and then you get to hear them. Like, yeah. like yeah. you're like, oh man, I think I could do that one day. Or, oh, I would love to do that yeah. one day. And you know, Han's one of those things where it's like, you know, you hear the kids joking around, like, it's usually little assholes, like yeah. little 12 year olds, 13 year olds being like, I could do this. And it's like, you know what? Yeah, you can. Like, g grow up it's a little bit thing to, where you're old enough yeah. and, and do it because yeah. anyone of literally any shape and size can do it. I'm a five foot tall, tiny little girl and. I I did it, you know, the, mm -hmm. the people that you, I was literally told to my face, yeah, I knew you weren't going to be able to do it, and here I am, 
Yeah. yeah. Jim, we've been talking to you for three hours. I feel like I've known you my entire life. <laughs> Honestly, I feel like we're best friends now. Best, best friends. Like best best friends. friends. And Jackie said this was going to happen, so. I mean, we're best friends now. <laughs> best friends now. That's Jackie true. said this was going to happen? Jackie said that you're such a cool girl that this was going to be a fun one and that she could not wait to watch this one. Jackie. Jackie! Jackie likes to make me cry. Yeah. Jackie likes it's to make me so cry. Smart. Jackie is the sweetest person She's, I've ever. I feel like I've said that like about everyone. They both, they both always. Yeah. Just. Sick. That fractured yep. compass fam, dude. Yeah. Love them. Um, too sweet. The last too, too sweet. sweet. Too sweet. Shout Actually, out to Sweet Tooth Club. Sweet Tooth. From the Candyman himself. Oh my mm-hmm. God. I stick on my laptop right here. Oh my God. Um, See, Candyman and I have a weird thing where I, I'm petrified of the Candyman, <laughs> and so he's a wonderful person. I love Milk underneath the mask, and then he would make it a mission to scare me backstage nice. on my breaks in full mask just like whispering I'm glad ear. you guys know about Sweet Tooth Club so yeah I'm part of it Go, yeah. Yeah. he made me an honorary member I had a, there I had you go he, he, uh, he gave me a, a, a dose of his uh, whatever that is the last night I yeah. asked him and then uh, I sent him a message like hey man it's fucking it was cool watching you work this season yeah and he's like well we'll do the Sweet Tooth Club yeah did I tell you he gave me a I'm syringe at the end of the season? He did? He gave me a syringe at the nice. end of the season. Just this empty little syringe. So I want to like scuff it up and like put it somewhere on my costume next yeah. season. I want to be like... Kind of cool. Right? So yeah. I'm like, fuck. The final question that we usually ask all of our guests. Um, Favorite horror movie? Favorite horror movie. Did you guys ask me this last time? No, we didn't. That's why we're asking you now. Yeah, yeah. so ask every guest. Uh, <laughs> well, now we're, now we're every guest. Right. Good thing I brought you back. Good. <laughs> Good. Glad. Go ahead. Answer. Um, without a doubt, Scream. 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 Yeah. Wow. Wes Craven original. Wes, yeah. Wes Craven fan. Yeah. Just Scream was just when it came out, like it was different than the previous horror movies or slasher flicks that had come out before then. I love the uh, stabs too when he talks about uh, in the beginning. He goes, he asks about Nightmare on Elm Street. He goes, but the first one, the other ones are trash. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I was like, Wes Craven, dude. The guy, rest in peace. That guy's a fucking mastermind. Dude. Yeah, I think he just he made it so acceptable for a social norm um he not without having to like date it mm-hmm. you know specifically oh this is specifically a 90s movie like no like you can put this anywhere yeah didn't he voice the ghost face Mm-mm. no uh they didn't do that but the, the same voice for the ghost face has been the same voice for all four films yeah. Oh, yeah um in the beginning just to fuck with everybody especially drew barrymore they had him the guy i forget i forget his name but he had him offset like i think in another city and it's like, hey, call now. And they called, and he, they just ran the script then and there. Oh, my God. Um, and I guess that same scene, Drew Barrymore actually actually called 911, and it was a live line. Oh. So 911 showed up because they heard everything that was going on. They were like, no, 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 wait, 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 no, no, we're, we're filming a movie. We're filming a movie. Like, this this wasn't supposed oh to happen. God. Oh, wow. Um, but, yeah, and, like, it just gives you the idea, this thought that, like, anybody can be Ghostface. I forgot, yeah. I, I thought that was the coolest thing. She's in the beginning. Yeah. Right. She was used she was as the awesome. draw. She was yeah. used as, like, for every, like, promotional poster. Yeah. She was kind of... And she, she died up there for a little bit. Yeah, she was in the area. But, yeah, Scream. She did Charlie's Angels. She's awesome. She's a babe. She's so awesome. is an absolute babe. Um, you know, best film never been kissed. Yeah, uh, <laughs> without a doubt, dude. Wow, come on. <laughs> wedding singer. Oh, wedding singer. Wedding oh, singer. Oh, you got me. Yeah, you got me. I'm yeah, sorry. dude. You the might. whole scene where he's freaking singing her and he's like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> sorry, what was that? Somebody ah! kill me, please. That's my. I relate oh to that. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. They did a lot of them. The Fifty Shades <coughs> is another good one. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, they have I a lot do. of chemistry. Her and Adam Sandler, and, yeah, and no, well, like fifty. I think Fifty First Dates. I'm gonna go Fifty First Dates because that one was cute. Classic to me. Yeah, but Wedding Singer is like, ah, fuck, it's up there. Do you really want to hurt me? I know my we're gonna stop right. And then he'd stop and he'd be like, um, Jen, um, really unpopular opinion, but I have a huge soft spot for Rob Zombie's movies. Um, specifically, and I know this is one that was really controversial when it came out, but, um, 31 was... it's it's so underrated. It's so underrated, it's so good, and I, I know a lot of people are not, you know, they, everyone sees House of a Thousand Corpses, and they're like, yeah, "Yeah, Rob Zombie's cool, but they watch his other stuff, and they're like, what the fuck? I haven't seen 31. 31, it's, it's real good. I gave gave Hostel, actually, I, there was one night where we were, like, starting to talk more. And I gave him, I sent him a clip from, uh, Doom, was it Doomface his name? Or Doom? Doomhead. 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 And, um, there's a, there's a, there's a quote he says in that movie where he goes, I'm not crazy, I'm in control. Yeah. And so I sent that to Lucia and I'm like, dude, 
one night I want to hear you say this, and sure enough, he fucking did. He fucking that's, was in the corner banging his head. I'm not crazy. I'm making draw. I'm not crazy. That's I'm like, dope. Oh, Hostel reminds me a lot of of Doomhead, yeah. and it's it's scary because seeing that character see out movie, there, though. it's it's so good. Think of like you know, a like a a purge meets the Hunger Games, but Rob Zombie. It it oh. was basically it was basically Hunger Games and the Purge with also like a, the classic, you know. Rob Zombie's an artist before yeah. anything. He's mm-hmm. a horror fan that's making horror movies, mm-hmm. but he's also this crazy creative mind that lets whatever he has just run and flow yeah. without any sort of... Rob Zombie doesn't give a fuck about your plot holes and about your bullshit. He's going to make the cool shit that yeah. he wants to make. I will make. say this, though, the only movie I didn't like from him was Halloween 2. And, but I feel I, like that's but, a popular opinion. But I've read a lot about why that movie was the way it was. Yeah. And that's due to the fact that he didn't even want to do a Halloween 2. The yeah. studio was like, Halloween uh, did so good in the box yeah. office. Do that's it. why it looks a lot like Rob Zombie rather than a reboot. Exactly. It's more Rob Zombie's fucking... Yeah. Exactly. That was all his creative thing. I mean, he took aspects from the Halloween 2, like the overall essential story of Lloyd Strode being in the hospital and Michael mm. Myers going to try to kill her. Yeah. But... Essentially, a lot of that movie is Rob Zombie. Yeah, and that's that's what I love about it, is that you can tell a Rob Zombie movie straight off the bat because it's artistic and it's creative and it, it flows in, in his way. And I feel like 31 is just this beautiful mess of chaos and just chaotic characters just back to back to back. We'll and check it out. Um, I, I think it's great. And a lot of people don't like it, but it's one of my favorites. And um, the one of the characters... Um, in there sex head is her name she was um someone i was considering for inspiration for my character this season nice so um oh, i mean okay. I'll i gotta revisit it. that movie it's been a while since i've seen it's it but so it's such damn a good it's good movie so I damn watch good it. please do i was blown away so with three from hell yeah i really liked how they did it Fuck a yeah. lot of people didn't like it because of said hey but it's like dude the guy was yeah, RP, man. dying yeah yeah you can't judge yeah. that i remember like the weekend he he passed away i was like dude we gotta go through house of a thousand courses now yeah yeah and yeah, you I can guess. ask this guy. What was my line every time I went through House of Thousand Horses? Uh, well, when you free the three, what was the other one though? Free the three and run rabbit. Oh, nice. well, oh yeah, run rabbit, run, run rabbit, run. run. Yeah. yeah, I would like go through all the haunts just yelling that if I saw like a, something like that's similar to like that kind of environment, I was like run <laughs> rabbit, run. Oh, uh, yeah. So yeah, I, yeah. Rob Zombie, he is an artist. Yeah, absolutely. So yeah. I would recommend that one. You if can anything. watch uh, El Super Beast though. That is just like. You see a horror guy, and then he does this animated movie. It's just like, yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. shit! I remember that. Yeah, yeah. it's it has like literally all of his movies in one, and pretty much. It's fascinating. Up until what he did. that being in- intense. Yeah, yeah. It's um, fascinating. Well, I think I think it's about time that we close. Yeah, it's about time. I gotta say my uh, my speech. I say every end of the podcast. Well, you want, let, let me take a shot at it. Oh. Oh. We're, going up the yeah. we're twisting things around this podcast. I think we're in between something right now. Oh man. Okay. You know what? Should we, we step leave? Out? Do you guys want us to go for this? Like, I got one thing to say to you. Don't fuck it up. Ooh. Oh, you know what? Yeah. If I mess it up, fill it up. Fill it up. Fill it. You already fucked up. I already did. Mm-hmm. Um, you know what? We really can't thank you all enough. It's been a pleasure to watch you, Judas. I know we've already thanked yeah. you, and we're going to continue to thank you. Well, thank you. Jennifer, really thank you as well. Um, it was a pleasure to sit on our bench in Kmart and just watch the saloon girls work, watch Tootsie come to life every night. Um, you are the reason. You all are the reason. Everyone there is the reason that we came about 20 nights to really just watch the magic, and a.k.a. the best show in the world come Hold to on. life. I know you don't cuss. The best show in the fucking world. There yes, you go. Yes, because I don't cuss. Yeah, so you can fill that. Oh, you can fill that. Nice, Sammy. But fuck yeah. <laughs> fuck yeah, man. <laughs> well, thank yes. you. Um, it, it was really a pleasure. Um, this really is our love letter to Haunts because we really what? cannot say thank you enough because uh, this was really my first year really diving deep into the Haunt world, mm-hmm. um, and it was a pleasure. Like I had a great time at Horror Nights. Uh, Haunted Hayride. Unfortunately, I had to skip Queen Mary just because of being sick during that time. Oh. Um, oh. And then going to Knott's. But it was really just a pleasure. Even the home haunts we got to go to. Um, it was really a pleasure to dive deep and really just see that there's a world that loves this. Yeah. Um, and that there's people that are you know, you know willing to sacrifice time away from family. Time, you know, sleep, like sleep. Yeah. food, energy, blood, sweat, tears. A lot uh, of tears. A lot of tears. Being... <laughs> harassed whether verbally physically yeah. mentally tears. A, lot of tears. a lot of tears um um to you know to make sure that you know fans like me and tony can be um impressed nightly and leave 
every night saying, how will he get better next week? Mm -hmm. And saying, well, those expectations were met and Dead. exceeded every single time. Well, and leaving on November 2nd, we were just yeah. super sad. Yeah. yeah, we were all super crying. Sad. And then being like Thursday night at, um, when we were at Lucia's house, like, man, if this was a normal Thursday back in the haunt world, we'd be sitting on our bench already and watching. To die again? <gasps> Mid speech. And I was really impressed with that, to be honest. I really was. But it doesn't save, doesn't count, Sammy. <laughs> <laughs> it should have saved. I. Fuck. First I'm gonna see. You know what? I'm done doing that. You guys hey. talk on that. Hey. I don't know how good this mic's gonna pick everything up, but. So Sammy was saying some cool shit about us. It's a yell. <laughs> Just, you have to yell. You have to yell. Yeah. So. Uh, we really can't thank you enough. As Tony says every single time, you guys are our heroes. Um, whether you are backstage, out on stage, whether you put a piece of wood up, you hung a light, you hung whatever you Shout did. Out to the crew. Yeah, because you know they don't get enough love either. Yeah. Not um, at all. We, me and Tony have been there building things before, um, and it's a lot of blood, sweat, tears, long nights. Yeah. Um, so really, thank you, thank you, and thank you. Um, and thank you to our fans as well for sticking with us into the well past the two hour mark. Um, if you're still here, shit, that's cool. <laughs> it got to a point where the camera died again, so I'm just holding up the webcam. Yeah. You killed the camera twice. Yeah. Yes. Um, so thank you all. Um, be sure to like, subscribe, comment below. We love to see your comments. We want to interact with you all. Do it. Um, Please. Follow us on Instagram at Nights of Horror. The yeah. Nights of Horror and Twitter at Nights of Horror because I can never get this right. Um, because we got more amazing actors that are going to be able to come on the show. Um, and we're going to want to give them questions and give them the same energy that we've given every single person before. Shout out to Shaky Cam, am I right? Yeah. 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 Um, if you guys are really feeling generous as well, follow us on Patreon. We really can't thank all those wonderful people named Jackie and Celine who have gone out of their way to donate to us um so we would love for you all to do that anywhere well, from a dollar to twenty dollars anything from a dollar to twenty dollars we really appreciate it um we appreciate crisp high fives um whatever you guys do um you know makes us smile ah this is a uh, good muscle workout right, so i'm gonna close it up because he's dying um thank you all um that's gonna end it tonight um we got more great actors coming um and we look forward to seeing you in the next episode bye guys bye my arm's dead <laughs>